Thank you. 
Well, that's awkward. <laughs> I almost forgot to turn my mic on. Well, hello, 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 everyone. <laughs> Welcome back. I know I've I know it's only been like a few hours since our last stream, but don't worry. We're here for some Vampire the Masquerade. Hello, I am Frozen Pumpkin Twenty One, and tonight I will be playing Eleonora Holmes, Ventru, and Scylla of the Independent Alliance. Alicia Wallace, Giovanni Neonate of the Independent Alliance. Cyrus Shieldheart, Aramain Elder, Autargus. And Angelo de la Ombre, La Sombra Elder, Seneschal of the Camarilla here on Tintagel Island. So before I get in character and everything, I'm gonna give a little bit of a backup, rewind and hook and sinker, tell you guys what's all happened. So, since I last had a stream, we were on the island of Caliburn. Things have changed since then, both in character and out of character. Therefore, 
We are in a alternate universe on an island called Caliburn, where things are similar, but not quite the same. <clears throat> As for what my characters have been doing, uh, since Eleonora left the Camarilla in the last stream I did for uh, Vampire the Masquerade of this storyline, uh, Eleonora had left the island after getting caught doing some... Well, she tried to leave the island after some personal things came up for the character. And she attempted to get herself out of a blood bond. Instead of, leave instead of leaving the island as she thought she had, she had somehow found herself in an alternate universe as soon as she had left the island. As for Alicia Wallace, things haven't quite changed too terribly much except for the fact that she is no longer a serial killer. Surprisingly enough, this Giovanni Neone is now on the path of humanity. Whereas my two characters that I don't believe I streamed before, Cyrus Shieldheart, Elder of the Aramains, grandchild of Odissa herself, she has been both in and out of combative situations. Whereas Angela de la Ombre, elder of the clan La Sombra, an anti tribu has somehow found her way to power that she does not need for the path that she is on. But... To keep good standing with her sect, she will keep doing her job the best she can. Recently, the Prince Jim McCoy has been usurped from his throne, and the surprisingly returning prince, Alexander Griffith, has blessed us with his presence. So sit back, enjoy the drama, in between characters, I will speak with chat, say what's up, see how everyone's doing. But let's get into the roleplay, shall we? First character I will be playing tonight is Angelo de la Ombre, the Sombra Elder, Seneschal of the Tentachil Camarilla. I hope you all enjoy tonight's stream. Thank you for coming. Oh, and for those that want to know what the character looks like, oh, there she is in all of her glory. Oh, I can't believe I messed that up. Okay, there we go. I'm only doing this because I know I'm going to want to take pictures later. Oop.
Oh, and one other thing before we get fully into character. Um, players have been told by the narrator team that they are allowed to, uh, to meta just a tiny bit to avoid me in character tonight if they don't want to be on stream. So note that ahead of so note that ahead of time, some people might be a little distant with me, and that is why. Hmm. Hmm. I beg your pardon. Take a step back. Take a step away. Thank you. I'm sorry I missed you, whoever you are that just followed. Thank you so much for following. I apologize. I probably won't respond very much to follows and stuff. I'm in character. I'm sorry. Good evening. Thomas, yes? Good evening, Johan. How is the harpy this evening? As fine as one can be. Disgusting anarchs. One night they will learn their place, or they will be destroyed. What a delightful thought. <laughs>
Caitiff, ex Toreador pretender. A doctor of lies, perhaps? So I hear your studies have been going well. You have gotten what we need, though? Delightful. Very good. Do update me when there is something substantial. Yes? And our infected friend? Good. Make sure he stays that way. Well, let us hope that we have the time. Our kind usually does, however, quite recently that's become less the case. You are both doing quite well. Have either of you seen the prince yet this evening? Oh. Well then. Tell him I said hello. Tell him I said, hello, salve. Hmm. A shame. I'm sure it is nice to have the prince in your head. One thing I will note of, dear Johan, is it is quite interesting to see how openly the Sabbat move around right now. 
At least they feel safe. Nothing wrong with them sending a few shovel heads to fight the Shimitsi. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> It is one of the things they do best. Forgive me, I think I will have a seat for a while. Oh, I'm not leaving the buildings, just simply taking a seat. If you wish to join me. Hmm. So some out-of-character knowledge for some people. Uh, recently, the Sabbat have gained access to having peace while they are in within, within Elysium, as long as they follow the laws of Elysium. A happenstance, all thanks to the Anarch Movement and the Independent Alliance. My apologies, dear Johan. My mind was elsewhere. Could you please repeat that? So how have your testings been going? Ah, it appears your planmate has left Johan. Although do not feel pressured to leave with him, dear Harpy, do stay with us. I see. But you have been working together on our project, yes? Indeed they can. It is honestly more just a matter of who we work with. Yes. 
I see. Well then, and perhaps once that testing is over, you could uh, show me your wonderful progress. It will be good to see Lord Elios in good health, and not under control of unwanted creatures. I do like a determined look. Oh my goodness, thank you, Don. Every loyal member. <clears throat> oh my goodness, folks. I'm so sorry. I did not realize you guys couldn't hear my game. Okay, so just 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 to just to backtrack and recap real quick. Uh there's a new anarch in town called Seven. There is uh there is a Shimitsi running around running amok. Uh, that has taken control of a member of the Camarilla, Elijah Elios. Uh, there is apparently conversations happening upstairs between the uh, advocate Nocturne and uh, some of her allies, Dr. Jean and Philip. And then we have uh, Re and Angelo was just talking to Johan about their progress working on dealing with the Shemitsi known as Zyvanek. I apologize. I my mind is running with I, ideas I, and annoyances. Forgive me. I mean, um, it's. Uh, I don't see any uh, offense in that, so don't worry. I just said. Um, I forgot, forgot what they said right now. Ah! <laughs> well, some data. It will come to my mind again if it was uh, important. Ah, yes, the Archon. How he, how he reacted to the former prince crime. You mean... The boon deal he made. Yes. Well, I should say that it is something that will be noted, but probably not acted upon. For now. <sighs> Obviously, there is only so much Italy can do for us. Yeah. They have their own city to run. Is there any uh, trace of Jim? Any trace of who? Of Jim McCoy. I no. Mean, he just vanished. Jim McCoy, ex prince of the Camarilla, has vanished. And quite possibly that is good for his sake. At least it is a quiet night in the Elysium. I 
would have thought Compact would be always a quiet night, but it's surprising how often it is not. Hmm. Indeed, I'm sure once our prince, our prince arrives, <sighs> I'm sure that will bring some flair. Yes, not as quiet. <laughs> I am sure the advocate will definitely have something to say. As well as the guest among us. The Sabbat member quite possibly listening in on us right now. around as she said that I still cannot believe that the suburb has access to the Elysium. That just doesn't doesn't want to get into my brain. Well it is all thanks to the Anarchs and the Independent Alliance after all of course, we understand true order comes from the chaotix not having as much freedoms as they want. Order does come with limitations, and limitations not just for our company, but for ourselves as well. I think sooner or later they will see what they get from that. Betrayal, I'm sure. Mm I already know Naramir was this character's name is, right? What was You've never met this character. Oh. Oh, wait. Okay, I'm, never mind. I guess I didn't imply to me. I shall be back. Alright. Wait, you, what's your name? One cannot allow themselves to be afraid of death. Or be haunted by shadows. For all of your eternity. That is one way of putting it. How would you put it, Angela? Fear of death? If you don't mind me asking. Well, you said that's one way of putting it. So, yeah, how would you put it? Death is something that comes for everyone and everything. Everything has its moment, everything has its end. Fearing it merely brings you closer to it. It is always best not to wonder when or how, but merely when the time comes to embrace it. And know that you did your best. I don't entirely disagree with that. Speaking Although I would be more inclined to rage against the end myself. 
I do like the idea of accepting that you did your best when it was meant for you. After all, so the there are worse fates than death. Does, does death really I... come to all this in time? I mean, that has yet to be conclusively proven. Oh, well, I mean, there is a heat death of the universe, but that's a long time off, I assume. Well, in five billion years, I have no doubt we could design some temporal technology to exist in some manner of quantum stasis field and avoid that. <laughs> Let's hope so. We'd have five billion years to make a plan for it after after all. I mean, Kindred are only alive until they're not, and I certainly put into our conversation. No, a number that have persisted. You are certainly one of them, Angela Delambre. Death comes to all of us, perhaps, but it's not in a rush to come to come for you, it would seem. Neither for you either. Not yet. <laughs> Nor am I any eager to leave this plane of existence, but if I do, I do. You know, it's a shame. We have the traditions that allow us to keep a life in relative harmony for a really long time. So why not take opportunity of that to stay alive for as long as we can? <laughs> It's an interesting opportunity to drop a little bit of camera propaganda. I do what I can. <laughs> Accept the trivial boon well, for I your wonderful words, that. Thomas. <laughs> Thank you very much, dear Sensha. There are some traditions which do help to keep kindred alive. The six is certainly one of them. It's uh, prohibiting the murder of each other, especially following the Edict of Succession, of course. So you're not entirely wrong either. Well, but What's then we have progeny and on? things get more complicated. Oh, I'd love to hear Alvin's opinion. Oh, yeah. It's always a riot. <clears throat> um, My opinion on what? Mortality. What's your opinion on dying? I would like to avoid it. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. And so uh, one opinion in this sort of game. Hmm. It is a common opinion of us all. It can be.
so how does that work? Like a lot of the actions of the Sword of Cain are self-destructive, and yet you want to stay alive for as long as you can. Isn't that, although it doesn't concern you directly, you manage to find a way to be here. <laughs> Well, then, Alvir, I assume you would not yeah. care for the title of Elder in the front. Oh, it doesn't bother me if you wish to apply it. I certainly won't be affronted. But it's not, it's not my preference, if that's what you're asking. Very well. Since you find yourself, of course, mm -hmm. since you find yourself wanting to be closer to life, what brings you to it? What brings me closer to life? See. Si. Yeah, there she is. Well, that's a complicated question, Angelo. I don't know that it's one that I can easily answer right now. Know. I can try, but I imagine that we'll get way late a bit before I finish. Problem, Claudia. Thomas. Oh. Angelo. Right. Nocturne. Johan, hey! <laughs> How about we just call nicknames now? There's many motivations. <laughs> One must cling to their humanity and avoid ennui. In terms of intuitive instinctive survival, if you want to persist through the centuries and you want to be active, learning to appreciate the flavors of the moment becomes a survival tool. Adjusting your mind to savor existence <laughs> for the title of the Messer Bichette <laughs> uh, establishment, of course, uh, allows one to retain that power and capacity for persistence. Over time, many kindred who do not prioritize this find themselves taken by ennui or falling into torpor for increasingly long periods of time. Not that I'm judging that, of course. But I believe that I had a life, after death at least, that was flavorful and allowed me to see the utility in this perspective. Does that answer your question? Hey, and what an interesting thought. It's not for everyone. We can only fight sleepiness for so long. Mm. So my Same. better friends rest. Yes. <laughs> they rest for a night that may or may not come. Supposedly when they'll be needed.
It seems like you're reaching out no, to your friends, around. Angelo. Well, that would be nice. No. May I ask, why did you reach out to uh, Dr. Jean to rejoin the cam? Ah, well, you see, it is not one of the things that was my idea. Our prince believes in punishment for some, but for those who have gone through enough of their punishment, they are welcome back. Should they wish to I come back? Suppose. It's going to feel very welcoming if you're planning on continuing his punishment. From my understanding, he's already paid the price for the issues from before. He has paid the partial price or partial. Of his well, from my understanding, misdeeds. You a blood boon to Jim McCoy, correct? Not that I was aware of. <laughs> I would probably check with your harpy on that matter. Regardless. <laughs> Although then again, that Doctor Jean has asked to join the Anarch Movement, so he will fall under our protection. I see. Just so you are aware. Well, it is nice that both of the caitiff have their place in the world now. Wouldn't you agree? I do not care what bloodline they are from or clan. I know Dr. Jean. And he has place in this world, where some do not deserve it, regardless of their status. My dear Nocturne, that would not be another dig at my prince, would it? Oh, Angelo, if I was digging at your prince, you would know. Unfortunately, it seems I've hit rock bottom in that regard. It is possible. It was kind of you to offer Dr. Jean the opportunity to rejoin the camera lot in the event he wanted it. It's good to have options in one's own life. Many don't have options. I certainly hope it was out of the kindness of our own heart. No doubt. I would hate to think it was for any other purpose. Who would think such? And what nefarious purposes yeah. would I even have with the good doctor? Well, well wasn't you your idea. You said, right? I'm sorry, yeah. I didn't mean to speak over you. No, I was just going to say, well, seeing as you've said that there was no nefarious purposes, and I will believe that is the case. It's good to know you at least believe my word, Nocturne. You have done nothing so far as to make me believe otherwise. Delightful. And what a peaceful island this will be, should that stay that way. Oh, I've had to walk away again. 
But I myself would hate to get into... Arguments that merely waste me and other people's time. Ah, well then we should not argue. As long as we have an understanding of the situation, there's no further need to discuss it. Indeed. I will make sure my prince knows Dr. Jean's choice. And I'm sure that will be I the end so. of that. Certainly. I would also make sure that uh, the Harpy does have the record of what it is that Dr. Jean has owed Jim McCoy. Dear Harpy, when you have a moment, if you could Ooh. find that boon? I have it already speak out. If you wish to hear it, I can read it to you. If the boon Question. allows it. For the transgressions that you caused to the Ivory Tower, these transgressions including the impersonation of a member of Clan Triador and failure to provide his true and honest identity, and for concealing his role in Anderson Half's de demise, which was assisted suicide. The prince has deemed that the offering of this boon has absolved him from any debts towards the Clan Toreador and the Ivory Tower for his actions, under the stipulation that the boon may not be used to compel any form of blood bond. That is what's written down Dr. Augustus Sheen uh, to uh, Jim McCoy. A boon directly to Jim McCoy, not to the prince. Yes. I see. Yes. That is fine. Thank you, dear Harpy. Isn't it good that Kimmerell Law protects us from misuse of particulars? It really is. It's a good thing you guys keep a nice log of things of that nature. We do our best. Said, well, said it is a shame one of our harpies That's did nice. not fall under that same thought. I do apologize, Tavir. What were you saying? You have my boon with Dr. Jean on record, Thomas. I'm sorry, you're Johan, on. but my yes, apologies. I have. <laughs> Dr. Augustus Sheen to Tavir of the Alliance for a period of no, no less than six months. Tavir of the Alliance will defend Dr. Jean against any individual who seeks harm against them, with the exception of the party in question acting in self-defense or with the lawful permission of the leader of their respective sect, up to and including the final death of the hostile party in the intent to seek retribution if needed. Trivial. Thank you. I appreciate that clarification. Well, it would seem that the leader of respective sects have the ability to override that understanding. It's always good to have those stipulations as well. Indeed. See. Hi, Alban. Indeed. Uh, and yes, looking up to date. The protection is still valid. For now. Not that I wouldn't be eager to protect my good friend all the same, of course. I simply wouldn't necessarily be bound by the requirement to do so. <clears throat> I 
Is there a former harpy that you think that wasn't that great at maintaining records that you were referring to, Angela? I'm afraid that I'm a little too politically oblivious to understand what your reference was. Dahlia Spencer, I mean. Ah, uh, I see. I didn't know. She always seemed so on top of things. She really did. I thought she was taking notes and keeping that log. Or the IA, of course. Oh, that's an interesting thing. I guess the uh, CAM and the IA had a lot of dealings at that time. I don't recall the Anarchs doing many things in Boons. I would be surprised if an Anarch had a Boon. So would I, in a sense, but it's happened. There are Anarchs with Boons. Hmm. I mean, at least I owe two wounds to an axe. And I'm sure if I go through the records, I will find more. Yeah, I mean, you. <laughs> I can't walk to the city with Adonis without him asking for a boon for some mm. minor tiny thing. <laughs> for example. I'm sorry. Shit, <laughs> got dead so quick out here. For showing me around the city, and maybe he learned from that. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't think that's common. Well, I would assume that he's just trying to honor the traditions of the Camarilla when he does so. <laughs> Oh, yes, I took it as I mean, nice. It was definitely a polite gesture. Well, Dolly had spent most of her existence of an anarch, as an anarch, after all. Mm, Notoriously undependable, as we know. <laughs> <laughs> We're very bad at logging our information and keeping data, you know. We just have to try and keep it all <laughs> up in here. And then we forget things. It's a horrible habit. <laughs> I mean, my instructor Gustav Schiel is now a... Um... Uh, an Anarch. He is a lot on the spoon list. Well, is he officially an Anarch yet? Not as of That's yet. He, he just falls under, under our Anarch under protection, protection, in a sense. Yes. Ah, yes, oh, because okay. he's pending oh, being voted see, in. See, that makes see. sense. Mm -hmm. so he's already well on his way. I mean, he does provide a lot of service for the city, in a sense. He does a lot of good things. I don't think anybody could question that. No doubt mm -hmm. that is the partial source of the Ivory Tower's newfound magnanimity in regard to Dr. Jean. Willing to open their I arms. I can understand. And accept him back within their warm embrace. <laughs> oh. In any regards, I do apologize that you missed out on having him decide to join the cam again. But you do have such other wonderful members within your 
ivory tower. Uh huh. Did you have him eat? We have. Alvin was uncertain if she should laugh or not. That's the first. <laughs> we have many. Well suited members in our sect and court. Indeed. You are an unprecedentedly sartorial lot, I would agree. I mean, just look at these three. They could be strolling down the runway one after each other. Well, that is very fair and accurate. <laughs> oh man, if only this wasn't compact. Guys, Tremere friends, we could take her now! <laughs> realized within that moment that there wasn't much I needed to say alone. It would be better to hear aloud. It also benefited in that sense that you were here in order to confirm the boon, Johan, so it's always good to have a harpy that's on top of things. Thank you very much. Yes. You're welcome. <coughs> I try to uh, fulfill my duty. It's all we made for the peace, there's not regard. enough bread to go around. Well, it's a good thing we don't need it then. The bread, I mean. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely true. We don't need anything to eat. I do enjoy the taste of a good bread every once in a while, especially ones with like cheese sprinkled on top and baked. Mm, that's good. Mm. <laughs> so, any more about the taste, but I like the smell of fresh bread. Oh, mm, yeah. There's that nothing too. better than freshly made bread. <laughs> I wish you know, I could enjoy garlic it. Fly bread. A little bit of butter, garlic, salt, just crispy mm. enough, fluffy, warm. Mm. What can you remember of that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I, I had some couple nights ago. Makes it easy. But I'm pretty sure I'd remember it anyway. Although I didn't have any when I was mortal, so it's not like I could remember it from then. Although, uh, my family did have respectable consumption options, otherwise I doubt I would, uh, have had much calcium growing up. Still, it, it, the, the world was not so, uh, in touch with fusion cuisine back then. Mm. That sort of just plays into um, Angelo's previous question. One can say we don't need to eat, but it can help you stay alive, even if it doesn't provide your nutrients. Uh, Seneschal, Harpy, Baron, and Elda, if you would excuse me for a few minutes, I'll have to go. I'll be back a bit later, though. I hope so. I'm going to wash your hands. <laughs> Have a good evening, Thomas. Later, Thomas.
I too will be disappearing for a little while, dear Harpy. If the prince arrives, do let me know. Have a good evening. Angela de Lambre. Till later. Alrighty then, let's see here. Things were getting a little tense over there, I think. Just a little bit, maybe. Alrighty, folks. Here's, here's the real question now. What are we thinking? Who should I play next? I have Eleonora. I could throw her into the mix for a little bit. I haven't played her too much for a bit. I could throw in some Alicia into the mix. Hmm. I don't know. What are people's thoughts? There's also Thyra. I could throw Thyra in right after this. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? How about this? I will pull out a six-sided die, and I will roll it one and two will be Eleonora, three and four will be Alicia, and five and six will be Thyra. I think that's a fair way of doing it. Oh, and that, uh oh, that didn't work. Let's try that again. It is a three. So it sounds like we're playing some Alicia next. Let's get set up for some Alicia. I'll get some music in the background while I set this up.
There we go. Let's see. Let's see if I can get into my uh, Alicia, 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 Alicia. Alicia, you quad! Nah, that's too much. Maybe here? Yeah, that sounds about right. Alicia Wallace, mad scientist. Uh, whoop, whoop. Oh, why did I do that? There we go. Alrighty, so... This, my friends, is Alicia Wallace, Giovanni Neonate, mad scientist, and guardian of sacred spaces for the Independent Alliance. So, let's get in character, shall we? And I went the wrong way, didn't I? Yep. Oh, uh oh. Well, that's an issue. Why can't I do anything now? Uh -oh. Okay, let me try to fix this real quick, and then I'll be back in character uh, while that's happening. Here. Uh, while I fix this, um, actually, I could probably take a five-minute break to use the restroom. How about that? I will be right back.
Alrighty, I think that fixed it. Oh. You two swapping? You two swapping out? Uh, swapping to, uh, um, to Ivo and Casey. Mm -hmm. Yep. Time to go be weirdo mad science, kid. Oh, yeah. Yay! Yeah. Oh, and a note to uh, people who uh, are not in this game but play Vampire. Uh, the Compact is a night uh, that is magically set to where uh, people can't use powers or attack each other. Otherwise, they will banish into non-existence or uh, um, out of time. Uh out of character the reason for that is so that everyone can play their characters without as much worry and then the narrators get a break for that week so it's just all role play tonight it's gonna be fun um add another note Thank you. I, didn't realize. Ah, I shouldn't pull myself out of character too much you know what i'll if if it's important, I'll remember it later. <clears throat> I think that I actually don't know who will be joining us. But I assume all present. Maybe so. Mm. Should be interesting either way. Hello, Ivo. How are you tonight? I'm fine. You? Well. Mm -hmm. Good, 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 good. Good evening. Good evening, Ivo. Casey. And Keeper, of course. Of course. This meeting should be starting soon. Has a room been decided? Um, Primogen Plow has been looking at the rooms, but he is currently not there. Hmm. Hmm. Let's hope he appears in a minute. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Also, pleasure to meet you. Well, I suppose we can make conversation. How has uh, how have uh, you been the last week? Anything? Uh... Hi. Ah. Good evening. Does anyone know this individual? He has been at the last um, compact, if I remember. I'm pretty sure I've met them, but I can't remember. Ooh, look at all these people. Look at all these new people. People, people, people. Yeah. You have cool looking people. 
the people I've never seen before. You have some sinister ass looking person right there. And I'm waiting for this one to dramatically turn around so I can say something. Yeah. Ew. Mayor was walking by. Oh. And, <laughs> Miss Knocker, good gotta, evening. And you got a button up his. Oh, Knocker, Knocker. Oh. Advocate Knocker. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hi. I'm, hi, we met before seven. We met like. Yeah. Th we did. 30 minutes ago. Yep. Yeah. Oh. The Harpy, good evening. Got. Was told I gotta be recognized on this island. How do I go about uh -huh. doing that? Well, certainly. There, there might be something that we have that you can do to uh, help us out while you're getting settled on the island. Mm -hmm, yeah. And uh, we'll have to talk about everything once you settle a little bit more. I'm hey, sure Joshua. Marks, but I don't see it being an issue. Wonderful. Cool, Leo. I love that. I'm a... Yeah. Ah, I was just saying hi. Tell me to do violence. Well, hopefully Good evening. it won't come to violence right off the bat, but I could certainly see you helping out with uh, patrols if necessary. I believe we're being uh, signaled to. I'm going to go see what he wants. Ah, yes. If you would excuse me, I do have a meeting. Out of character, Casper and Digitorius are with Alicia. Is Angelo the Omkro here as well? No. Okay. I will note that Alban is here. Okay. Philip? Is Casey? Yeah, I mean, is Casey here as uh, is Philip no. here as well? I'm not old enough for that word. No. Me, but yes. Okay. I he has heard. other things to attend to, so he's not here. Okay. What's that to you, belong, belong to, to you, my, my long fingered friend? I am an artist. Ah, oh, that's less than expected. Well, you called us, so... Um, yeah, I, uh, on that note, um... I have a question. As I... Yes. Knock, knock. Let me look. Hang on. Oh, hey, Robin. Come on in. Hey, Robin. Uh, to, uh... We'll note that Albon is Who's in this with me. Did, yeah, did you invite yeah, Arcady to the meeting, or? What is meeting? I, not one hundred percent sure. I was just called here. Likewise. The summons have reached. Information has reached the moon. That. Greetings, Aline. I have a question. Yes. Is it true what I have heard that Elijah Elios has been recognized as primogen? I don't think that really matters right now, Joshua. It does if Elijah was under custody as a infected member of Zyvanex Brood. I really don't think that's part of the comfort. I mean, that's up to you, Han, I guess, but I wasn't yeah, told that that was part of the issue. Elijah Eos is no uh, currently in the custody of the Tremere and won't uh, be able to do anything. Very well. We are here to discuss Zyvanek, are we not? We are. 
Oh, man. This is the totally not so gonna go well. Sorry, I didn't get who are you. I'm Kiri Zaitsev, Broodlord Nosferatu. Who are you? I know who you are, you um. don't have to answer. I'm Johann Rauch, the Mugen of the Tremere and Harpy of the Camarilla. Nice to meet you. <laughs> So, well, Kaleem Abdallah, Mal Malkavian Primogen Diviner. Um, Thomas Schuster, are we introducing Premier, ourselves? I also have a blood problem. Yes, I... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Oh, <Okay>. Boy. <laughs> Hi, Thomas. Everyone together now. <laughs> Hi, oh, Thomas. 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 <laughs> I didn't realize this was I a deficient synonymous. Can we, uh, just Why proceed? you called us here? Um, I called uh, you here because we discussed the last time um, that our clan would learn the ritual to steal Zyvanek and the, that, hap um, that happened now. And now we should talk about how to proceed. Shouldn't we do that when Alika's around? Yeah, Velika was in white third. I'm not sure why she isn't here. Wait, uh, maybe she gave me an answer. Joshua Wait. pulls out his phone. Oh. Ah. Yeah, she, um... You were unknown to me. She couldn't uh, certainly um, hey. predict her um, uh, okay. presence on that meeting. So I guess she won't come or comes late. But Thomas, since you are here, did you know something about her? I mean, you are now somehow connected to her. <laughs> well, she said she'd be here tonight, but didn't give us a time. Mm -hmm. Honestly, that sounds about right for Velika. She does her own thing. I appreciate that. We had the idea that we uh, that we want to, to lure Cybernek into a trap. Do we have a plan for that? My Hi. eyes, the moon, they see all. I'll tell, I'll speak, I'll squeal. Pl efficiency comes down to you. What mean you speak, you squeal? My eyes see far, far from this moment. I s I'll squeal what I see. Oh. I, uh, I think he's saying he'll say what he sees when he sees it? Yeah, I think that's kind of what he's saying. Future. I do recall us discussing options, but I don't recall a solid plan being decided on, unless I'm mistaken. What is the state of Zyvanek's cell? Mm. Question. Well, um, I mean, opened, but I doubt that we'll be able to uh, lure him back down into it. I certainly wouldn't want to go back into a location where I know that there is a lock and key awaiting me. Mm -hmm. So I doubt we'll be able to get him there. We'd have to try and lure him elsewhere. With a similar lock also, and key. Also, his presence there was watching us as we moved through. Mm -hmm. He's not safe. 
-hmm. No, he'll know if we're down there and he'll see what we're doing. Mm -hmm. um, Both times I went, I felt that presence still there, so. And none of the Nosferatu have shown back up? Or said anything? All still alive. I, well, at least that's good. That's something. Um, I have another question. Um, for future, uh, for the future, because we are now, um, now that, uh, at least Elijah Elos had these plotches in his hour. Um, is there any uh, one against it that uh, people with Auspex check our hour uh, here and there to look uh, into it if there are similar signs? I have capability to do such a thing as well. I will, I will uh, help. help. No tokens or nothing to hide. Again, please. <laughs> It is color and emotion. Color and emotion should not be hidden! It doesn't matter. We can't check our auras tonight. Yeah, not I think for he's tonight, more or less general... pertaining to the future. He did say it was a question for the future. Yeah. I use aura reading like a handshake anyway, so for me it wouldn't be a difference. Yeah, I still need to do a little bit more work with my aspects. That's why I keep Nocturne around. Just, I... Jokingly, of course. <laughs> yeah, and then so I clear. will say it like that. Yes? If I find that you have read my aura, I will be very upset. Why? You hide. I think that was an attempt at sarcasm. Okay, mm -hmm. I will say that for um, now, if everyone in the Zoom with Auspex uh, and the uh, ability to read my hour are allowed to read my hour to check me on plotches, because uh, if they show up, I want myself locked up, of course. At least now. Look upon me, play, play me. Claim your eyes to me, and I will prevail. I will flash my naked soul. I appreciate that. My soul is typically closed, mm -hmm. but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, if any of you try to read my aura, I will probably also not conceal that. Well, I didn't before anyway, but... I do ask, who actually here had a problem with their aura being read? The people who said they would like to be. Already come out. So, just Joshua, it looks like. I would rather Joshua... have auras and powers not be re used in Elysium. Not in Elysium, within environments of control. Not now. Well, I would assume reason. then that it would fall on the, the Keeper, the Watchdog, or the Protector to do so. That would be acceptable. I do ask, Joshua, no, may, I, may I pertain why you, you refuse your aura to be read? I trust the great majority of you. Is there... Would it then uh, be fair that if you had someone that you trusted, that you would allow it? I will allow you to read my aura. Good. That would be fine for me. Just to make sure everyone was certain of that, he was stating that he was going to allow myself to do so, but no one else should be poking at Joshua's aura. <laughs> I got you. I keep that in mind. No worries. 
Ah, see, he said people couldn't look at his auras. He didn't say anything about his chakras. No? Okay, well, I mean, thought it was well, a good joke at the time. So now that we have at least established what? what it is that we can look at to determine if somebody's infected, we're talking about the possibility of luring him somewhere. Do we have any idea what, what would lure a creature like that out? Or what where you would lure him to? For, what are the requirements for a cell for Zyvanek? What does it need? Would a shipping container work? Bigger than things. I mean, that worked on the abomination, so... Well, we're also dealing with something else, and something that requires thaumaturgy to keep it locked away. So again, I think that would be a good question for Ivo, or any other members of the Tremere who understand it. Are there? I have a. I have something to. I have something to emergency take care. Alim is still in the room, just not here, and I'm just not here. Please, please all continue. Pertinent information in this public setting. That is fair. We do want to keep as much information as privately as possible, just in case somebody is infected and we do not know it. Mm -hmm. Or if there are other means for him to be able to witness or hear this information. I then would probably just state, <clears throat> we do not have to utilize what is beneath the ground, above the ground. Specifying exactly what we will use could be something that the Tremere decide. I am making efforts in acquiring a location sufficient in sealing Zyvanek. Excellent. And I try to find signs where he is, um, where he, his minions or he is uh, doing something. I'm still on it, so if you find any information, I would like to hear from that. I will share mine, of course, as well. If I have any. Um, it is nice to see the sects working together, even if it is just well, we for something like this. In the sewers, are they not? No. Maybe. I believe it's been established that they broke out. We're mm. never in and sewers. He's not physically within there. But he has the ability to see what is going down where his previous imprisonment was. So that's why using that as a, a, a using that to try and lure him is a poor choice or move because he will be able to see us coming from a mile away in that regard. Considering uh, uh, how bad Sorry. Please talk. Okay. Um, considering how there's a likely possibility that anything discussed in such a public setting arrives at his ears, we need to make a plan that would work even if he knows that some people might try to act against him. Maybe make it a portable trap or make some set up where anyone can suddenly become a uh, horny pot for him. I don't mind uh, us having messages. our own little personal twists and turns to throw him off a little bit. Even if he knows the plan, I mean, little changes here and there never hurt. Mm. That's true. Needs to be adaptable because we can't know who gets infected. And we need a trap that he will go into. I mean, until now we don't uh, know even how we want to lure him, right? I don't know how what we're going to lure him with entirely. The only thing I can think of is people. We do know he is still on the island, yes? I feel like there would be a lot more chaos outside of the island if he had gotten out. Then we need 
need to ask ourselves why he is still on the island. I mean... I, him, I would leave and get as far as away from, from anybody who knows of my existence as possible. There may be a reason why he's I was under the here. impression there was a barrier around the island, although that doesn't seem to have stopped other people from leaving. I would be curious to learn more to... as to the nature of this barrier and whether it's still in place. Hmm. I'll keep Alpha quiet. Same. So There's a possibility he can't do much on it right now, but that doesn't mean he won't be able to do so in the future, which means we're going to have to act quickly if we're going to try to contain this from getting off the island. I would suggest that each sect come up with something that could possibly mm -hmm. be used or utilized, in a sense, as a containment. I think that, if possible, maybe Ivo could share with only one member and one member only of each sect what that item could be, leaving it for that individual to acquire it and get that put into place. That way, not as many we, people are aware of what it is, unless you think otherwise. Then we run into the issue of which location to lure Zyvenik into. No, we have those options available in all the sects, but we pick one, and only one, that he'll be lured into. I would say that you would have that decision on which one you will lure him to. You will have all of us under the understanding that wherever we are protecting, we are under the assumption that that is where he'll be lured to. And I mean... So, that way it's not so you are suggesting no. we have three simultaneous options, so the Zyvanet can never In be sure sense. which one we're attempting to lure him to? Exactly. Probably Tremere at each would be beneficial if each of the Tremere can do said ritual, just in case. I believe the ritual should be given at least to the leaders of each sect. I cannot do much with a ritual. I, I have the knowledge of it in the sense that I've written it down it and I translated it. But I don't have anybody as far as I know. is their own right, but... I believe it would be a poor idea for us to put all our eggs in one basket. I mean, fair, but also at the same time, I mean, the less people who know, uh, especially if only one person quietly picks the people who do know, that's less of a chance that uh, the people who will know won't be infected, Joshua. You're concerned that if someone infected should learn of the ritual, that they may be able to sabotage it. Mm -hmm. There's that possibility, or the, whoever learns about who knows how to perform said ritual outside of the Tremere will target those individuals. It would be already fair to understand and know that the Tremere would be the ones who would understand thaumaturgy, so... They're already in a particular pickle in a situation such as this. We don't want to put any more targets on the individual's backs. Then leave it to the you leaders already. of their respective sects to do it clandestinely. Hmm. You're really going to trust Alexander Griffith with that? Uh, no offense. I would trust Ivo with that. Same. Ivo, Specialty. if Alexander Griffith commanded you to reveal the details of the ritual, would you reveal it? That is a difficult question. As, as, as he is prince, if I do refuse his command, it may eventually lead to me being removed from the sect. Then it doesn't matter whether we trust him or not. Let me uh. rephrase then. 
I trust that Ivo was set aside sec politics in a sense to be able to help us in this regard. I do not trust Alexander to do so. Plus, I will also have the concern of his own clan. I apologize. Could you repeat? Then don't tell Alexander. Then that already goes it's against what you wanted. Anyway. Then, I mean, I guess our point still stands? I disagree. There are representatives in here for me and to I trust Nocturne. I mean, I trust them too, but I mean, what's Cousin Georgie gonna do with the... Disseminate the information to someone who can do something with it. Like... Okay. Are you saying you want to get involved in this, Joshua? I do not have the capacity to perform this ritual. I am not a thaumaturge. Oh, okay. Well, I suppose then that would be for you and the other members of your sect within here to discuss who it is within your sect that you could possibly get involved and knowing said thing without us knowing said thing. In a sense. Regardless, something that we can each have set up within our sex. Something that we can alert the others to. Something that, if it got back to Zyvanek, might drive him either away from an area or towards an area. Not certain which one we're going to be able to pull off. But in either case, at least he won't know exactly which location it is that he will be possibly facing a stronger force. But we should still have individuals readily available in every location, just in case. I agree. I will reveal to those, preferably the SEC leaders, what the required location qualities must be. However, I will not reveal any other specifics to that ritual. I think that's very yeah. fair. Is that all? We will you probably say, also want to know exactly how quick we wish to move with this. You say it gets off island, makes chaos. Looking for traces of what is done. What is chaos happening now? What actions are we tracking? What is uh, it doing? Well, currently it doesn't seem to be doing much of anything, but... Probably hiding, honestly. Eventually it will. There was a recent media trend regarding bathing and sewage. Yes, but that was nipped in the bud rather quickly, and nothing like that has popped up again since then. Again, I would assume that it is more or less trying to contain it before it actually starts causing chaos versus waiting for it to cause chaos to contain it. At that point, Whatever it is and the abilities it has is probably going to be extremely difficult to counter. Oh. It's hiding. If it's hiding, it is weak. And if it's weak, it is able to be taken on by us. We're not going to like it when it's not hiding any longer. Hmm. Does anyone know if it has some ability to power up, how does it regain its strength? Because if we find that source, we have something to lure him with. 
it's something he can't ignore if it makes him more powerful. He is likely and looking for bodies. That can do so. People. He is as a Michi, he will seek bodies and flesh to construct their abominations in his defense. I think so too. I oh. think he is trying to form his uh, minions. So I would also suggest that. Yeah, well, also yes, the humans, animals aspect can be is how do. Well, yes. But I would also say, like, what else does a kindred need in order to, after it's been without the ability to regain its strength, what is it going to need the most of? Vite. Mm -hmm. But then. Since this is a Methuselah, possibly something a little more potent. Mm hmm. Okay, we take all arrows, put them in a room, lock this room. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he may very well be able to embrace his own food supply, if I'm not mistaken. Well, that's a possibility, but at the same time, we're not certain of that. Regardless, we're also run the risk. We're gonna have to try and creating more of those capable of defeating him. Yes, that is accurate as well. Any of his children would be quite powerful, even as a fledgling. More so than most of us here, if not all. I can see it being difficult, though, to embrace when you're, in its essence, I would suppose, starving. So then, the mere that collection of us would be enough to entice him. Possibly. I think Thomas had an idea with that, with all the elders being gathered around. <laughs> well, if he knows it's a setter, it's uh, kind of void. So that's the problem. Like we can't assume. I don't think so. I think if he's happens. pushed into a corner enough, I think he'll, you know, risk it for the biscuit to try to get what he needs. So in essence, you're suggesting we uh. Set up a box, a stick, and put a bunch of kindred under it. Hey, well, I mean, it, it was just part of the thought. The strategy would be to starve him out, then? Some of us would call that a party. Secure local, secure local blood supplies and ensure that he cannot feed easily. Not without risking the masquerade. In which case, it would oh. reveal his location and allow us to act. That might be difficult if other individuals upon the island that are within our society utilize such things in order to keep themselves fed. We don't want to accidentally starve our own people in an attempt to starve Three. him. That's a challenging conundrum to be in. We make a. We could ask Albon. Of... Albon? She is, from my understanding, or they are, I suppose, in a word, also Sumitsi. They may know what would drive somebody from their clan to go to a certain spot or away from a location. That's a guess, though. Hmm. These Jamisi also show up just as he released. Could be coincidence. In this case, yes. It's already been addressed. The fact that she showed up around that same time. Uh, apparently she has been part of her pact for quite some time. So they've been able to vouch for her.
Though I do understand your concern. In... So she's not a new arrival on the. No, she is Nor not. Nor recent embrace. No, she is not. That is somewhat reassuring. Does Saiwa know something about how the spirit he is possessed uh, of um, I think I know why he's here. his actions? What? Hold on, I didn't hear your question, and hang on one tight, Albon. What was your question, Johan? My question is if Saiwa knows something about how this... Um, Spirit, he's well, obsessed. That, that, okay, did we just hear the door open and Alvon just suddenly walked in? Alvon's been here. I said that at the start. Alvon is in the room. Yeah, yeah I, I can confirm they did say that. Fair enough. I heard that as well. Yeah. I, okay. Yeah. Did not know that. Okay. Any okay, LARP okay. shenanigans? Sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Let me again. Yeah. All right, one more time, Harley. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, does we know how the spirit affects his actions, or can uh, maybe Saiwa uh, tell us something about that? Do you know that? Robin? I can ask if you give me the specifics of what you need to know. I mean... Uh, I was informed that Zyvonek is uh, possessed by a spirit, yeah? And I would like to know how this um, affects his actions, how um, we c uh, if we can approach um, the whole issue over that as well. Like, if she, for example, can sniff out spirits, then she could sniff out that spirit, for example. Right. I'll, I'll see to that. But no, I'm really curious to hear what Alban has to say. He's a Zemichi. We are bound to the Earth from whence we were born. Perfect. I have the perfect solution. So, we sink the island. <laughs> <laughs> I can't uh, you know, the nearest uh, nuclear... The nearest that, nuclear... No, I'm being facetious. That was fac that was me being sarcastic. Please do not take this seriously. <laughs> too small. Maybe another you 50 said, years. Raise the island into space. Mm. See, that I can get behind. I do plan to go to space one day. Plus, <laughs> the island on the moon. I this guys that that's some that's some borderlands planning shit right there. I I don't even think I could make an island fly. <laughs> to be honest, if well, it, what Alban says is right, being facetious as well. I will Fine. also say Earth that stays the same. He Wait, does not is necessarily. It, um... He's bound to the Earth that he's from, correct? Mm -hmm. Are we certain that he is from this island entirely, or if he was just trapped here? That would be a nice question for the wardens who knows the most about him. <laughs> I think that would be a good but... thing to go off of, because if he needs... Well, I would assume, so you're saying that he would need access to the earth that he comes from, correct? I'm I'm still understanding that. So if he yes. is somebody so... who isn't from here, he would have to have something that he carries upon himself or with him that is from home. And if you could disperse that or destroy it, he would be severely weakened over the course of a period of time until he can rejuvenate. If he's not from here, then we can use it as bait. Mm -hmm. That too. Yes. Exactly. He would need to retrieve it, but, or he would eventually weaken to such a significant degree that, hmm. well, we like our dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Very helpful information. Thank you. Thank you. I am 
Don't forget to take a shower every morning, man. Would you like to see my dirt? <laughs> Good. Yeah, that's kind of a... Oh, like... boy, Albon. <laughs> um, I gotta refill my water. Oh. Enjoy their conversation. Okay, but... I'll be back, sis. Uh, finding his dirt would be the same uh, issue than finding him, right? Less risky, perhaps. Although I would imagine if this is as important to him as Albon says it is, presuming it exists, then I would assume that it's being protected in some way. However, we could perhaps look for signs that something is being protected of that nature, and that may lead us to, if not his location, then the location of, of this dirt, or whatever it may be. We also may be able to distract so, him by interfering with said protections, if not directly attempting to take the item. So we different. should join forces. So we should join forces in finding him or his uh, dirt. If he is not That's from not going to be an easy if... task. By well, any means, is, yeah. he is intelligent. Yeah. I only meant Beyond signs or indications that might point us in the right direction. It could be an additional clue as to finding its location as that has been a topic of discussion. Well, I would not presume to think that we could simply story. take it from under him. Yes, Ivan? It would seem we first need to determine where he comes from. It could be Do just enough to... getting a portion of the earth of where he does come from and establishing a location where that is at upon the island in different locations where we have our trap set up. I'm not certain, though. It would only work if he isn't already uh, in possession of dirt. Has um, Z gone under different names in the, fa in the past? Anyone have any clue? Maybe some big events that happened in the past in the island? On the island? Maybe Not that's that I remember. The first spot we can look at. Mm. I'll do some uh, research. That but can I do can't some. Promise I find anything. I mean, he was and... healed. So, the, the dirt, if he is not from that island, the dirt must be close by to the sea, as a, at first at least. Otherwise, he couldn't. I mean, um, or he is in a weakened state because there. There is uh, no dirt here. But if oh, so, um, why is his... How didn't he leave already then? That's a good question. I don't know. Well, again, there might be things in place that are keeping him trapped here, or he's too weakened to try and leave. And possibly not having his earth is only amplifying that. Yes. There's a lot of things we can speculate. I mean, did you see something I will say, uh, down there? If he is a Zemichi, as old and powerful as he is, and this is where he's from, well, I'm not sure he would even leave. Or the Native American kindred before Europeans come. What? Possibly. You would need. I am aware of. 
You would if need somebody who is an expert. For one. Hold up, I had both of you speaking at once and I could not hear. Arcady, go it's first. It's an extinct strange name for Native American. Well, unlikely is from right. Ireland. Well, it could always not be his actual name. I know a lot of people walk around with names they didn't come with when they were born, or even when they were first embraced. It's true, but uh, I mean, he's uh, likely Slavic. Uh, that would fit to the uh, home country of the Chimis, no? I mean, they are from... Uh, Eastern Europe. Yes. Well, then I guess he he could be definitely rocking the name that he uh, uh, either acquired or was grown up with or whatnot. But so you're thinking he's from Eastern Europe? Somewhere. Don't know origin. Uh, what what word for uh, name origins? But uh, he's sounding like that. It sounds uh, Latvian, Estonian, something like that. The Mishi are known to make their home in Romania. Yes. Mm -hmm. Trans <laughs> I hate uh, to say that, but it's Transylvania. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sorry? I mean, do you... it is not around Transylvania, around that location, Romania, I think Transylvania. That may be irrelevant in the moment, but do we agree that we can safely assume that he's most likely from the old world and therefore did not originate on this island? I mean, he's a very old country, it's... so yeah. It's never a good idea to just assume. We may be wrong in that regard. It is very likely a high possibility, but it should probably still be something that is double-checked just to make certain that we are not assuming he's going to be weakened based on the fact that he doesn't have access to his home Earth. When he actually is from here, he does have access, and he's just waiting to get strength. Agreed. Mm. Mr. Schuster did mention that he would do some research. Um, into Zyvanek and uh, the history of the island, correct? Uh, that's correct. Also, I am looking into the history of the Blood Wardens. Um, he has been sealed for a while, so I assume that is also another possible angle to tackle. Okay. Of course, I don't wish to work off of assumptions, and I apologize it sounded that way. However, it seems that most of what we've come up with in this meeting is just that, assumptions. We do need to determine what we are going to do, if this is indeed yes. something that we need to get moving on. Well, a lot of the times I feel as That's though right. we should have every single angle probably accounted for. So, in regards to him possibly being from somewhere else, we're having somebody research the op option of him not having been from here possibly even acquiring some earth from that location so that we can use it as a lure. If we have that guarantee that he is not from here and that he is possibly weakened because he doesn't have it, that a lure should work enough. But we should probably also have somebody determine if there is a way to, if he has access to his home earth. And if so, that's a whole other matter of how we get something like that from a Sumisi. I doubt that they carry it in their pockets, but more so in a spot that would be very difficult to remove it from their persons. Is it possible mm -hmm. to, um, I mean, you can change your body, right? Can you put this dirt into your body directly? Just eat no. some That's something else. Okay. Okay. No. Okay. I mean, it wouldn't be a very good curse if we could keep it with us in our bodies. Fair point. Good point. I just 
just Come asking. On. <laughs> Yes. So in either case, we'll at least have somebody who is l looking into the matter on us being able to lure him using dirt from his homeland, if that is the case. If it is not the case, we at least still have the notion that he is weakened at this point in time. He's still gaining strength and that we should attack or make our move as quickly as possible. We're just going to have to figure out something else that will lure him. In this case, we're looking at detail or something that would attract <clears throat> him in that regard i think that could work out of character um i don't i don't know though um i actually don't know much about the sumitsi out of character which is bad on me as a narrator i remember you mentioned that a package of yours was almost intercepted the contents in the situation, yes. maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Huh? I'll leave it up to you to share. I needed earth and uh, um, this package was tracked by. Uh, so I think it could be something like the FBI or similar, and I had to make sure to counter it. So if we were... deliver some, if we deliver something, I will try to get something like that. We should be careful because I will be on a. I would assume that eyes are already on us in certain was... regards. If, as you say, there was some attempt for this package to be intercepted, then do you feel there is a potentiality that uh, Zyvanek or one of his pawns was responsible? Depending on where this earth was I from, don't think so. I... That could point us in the direction. No? Let's be okay. I will be just open about that. Um, it was something that is uh, um, needs technology um, knowledge, and I guess that he is, if he is not uh, able to um, use utilize uh, his minions in that regard. I think that uh, he is too old to understand. Um, it would be unwise um, to underestimate the versatility and adaptability of the clan Zemichi. Also, okay. he did have a minion until recently, if we are to believe indeed that Elijah Elios was infected for some time. Mm-hmm. We yeah. would be correct in assuming that Elijah Elios was more than capable of something like intercepting a package, as I have been led to believe he was quite influential <laughs> and wealthy in his own right. It reminds me that uh, Elijah Elios is protected by um, very capable um, um, people as well, uh, was protected by very capable people as well. Um, regarding computers and technology. Also, if... I mean, if you guys have him, Zyvanek can't you guys just go through his people, digital stuff? Then is it not possible that he can also absorb their knowledge in some way? I'm on it. We are on it. Relating to what Albon has said about adaptability. I don't okay. think it's well, good to assume that he is technologically inept at this point. We got your With telepathy. phone and information, so we are kind of making some background checks. But can't promise we'll find anything, but we'll see. <clears throat> because I well, a lot of the things we're one... just going to have to lean into and do, regardless if he has the ability to see it or not in that aspect, we're going to have to still be able to make moves. Albon, there's been a theory, and I want to know if you know if this is a thing or not for your clan. Do you guys deal in hive minds like the Malkavians do? Or have the abilities to do so?
if you want something in return for information, you can just ask. Does not want to tell you. Could also be thinking, Albon does take some time to process certain things because she is... Well, she has a different way of thinking than the rest of us do. Hmm. <laughs> Imagine Albon having her own hive mind. I think, I think out of character, Rain is looking at the clam book. <laughs> Well, I suppose that if uh, Zyvanak has any type of abilities with Auspex, it wouldn't really matter much on a hive mind unless you're thinking about it being able to control people. More, more using There's the people to like with creating creatures like the Vaz buy and stuff. Not as much, not as much to look into them, but more look through them. Well, that could be utilized via aspects enough. That's fair. Should we assume he has that then? Just in case? We should probably assume that he has several things that we are not aware of. I mean, he has been around for a lot longer than any of us have, and I know that some of us may have disciplines outside of our own clan. He may as well as two. Maybe even three. Um, but we have been going in circles because at this point everything is speculation. But we made some really good plans. We should note them. Um, could somebody repeat what we have planned at the beginning? It was something Certainly. that every mm. sect makes a trap. Yes, Ivo is going to relay to the leaders of each of the sects. Uh, I do not think that it would be necessarily entirely to alert the leader of the camp, but I will make that his decision to do so. On the nature of a containment that is needed in order to seal away this creature and in that case I would assume that each of those leaders would then be the ones responsible for acquiring said item and location that is known to Ivo and to that person so that we may lure him in that direction. Thomas has agreed to look into the matter on where Zyvanek originates from if it is here or not if it is not, then we'll look into possibly obtaining some earth from his home. It's a possible way to lure him out if he is weakened based on the fact that he does not have access to that. That way we can use it in each of the locations, or at least one of them, that, again, Ivo chooses to. I'm putting a lot on Ivo. I do apologize if that is a lot, but I would state that if one person is going to keep said information on the down low, I think Ivo would be naturally bound to doing so. And I see that he understands the importance of this. And again, we want to keep as much of this information from getting out and around and back to Zyvanek. So if only one person has the information as to where everything is going to be, if we're all moving as though each location has it, we should be able to move forward with being able to trap him in that regard. So, containments being provided and created by each of the sects. You're going to find out information on exactly where he's from. And if we can't lure him with Earth, we're going to have to figure out something else that's going to lure him. You also suggest the possibility of elders. I'm not certain how the rest of the sects will feel about that. Or the individuals it might take to ensnare him or get his attention but it would be worth moving I, forward I was with not some type of plan i know but yeah but something similar might be necessary i mean if it's a good idea it, what elders would even volunteer for that depend on the elder it depend on the place 
I might be something, something that each of the sects have to work out with our own people. And then... It will also sense. be decided upon further information we gain regarding the status of his homeland and which location is chosen. We may be able to avoid that whole situation if it has anything to do with the homeland and this earth being an actual viable option. Another um, thing I, I want to discuss is um, the next meeting I would like to, um, if I call in for the next meeting, I would like to have one person to determine the location short before so that uh, it's very unlikely that we are overheard. Um, because some of you with uh, uh, white uh, um, said it could be dangerous to make that meeting in the Elysium and I would like to um, step up to that concern and uh, try to find a solution to that. Like, for example, that if I set a time that um, short before we, uh, we determine one person that will give us the location shortly before we can meet up, like for example Nocturne or whoever will be the one we choose. I disagree. I think Elysium is fine. Well, regardless if Elysium is fine or not, I would say that the next meeting that we have is not going to be within the territory that contains Elysium. I do know of some locations that might be viable, and we'll provide them during the next gathering. Sounds good to me. Developments. Are we what wishing to meet again upon the next gathering, or are we wishing to meet afterwards? Mm. I'm not certain if it'll be enough time for everyone to gather the information they need. I would say we should meet if we have uh, um, progress in some way. Would it be then viable to then reach out to you, Johan, to let you know if we have anything sure. to meet about to discuss yes. that is pertinent for this plan to go forward, and then you can let me know so I can have a place set up? Sure. I need his contact details because I uh, have them. And he is uh, pointing at Sinosaurus too. <laughs> Oh, Arcady? So you're pointing yeah. me? Yeah. You need my contact I mean, details. I can give you that. Again. Did you say you give me that or not give me that? I can give you that, yes. That would be nice. Thank you. I will take the information regarding the location to Lamarack and the rest of my pack. If you want, you can send him. I mean, I wanted to um, um, explain that before I missed that. Um, in this meeting about to deal with Cybernek, I would like to keep out Sato's um, tech issues and so on as much as possible because it will just hinder us. So, yes, I will <clears throat> trust the Sabbat in this case. I would try and share the information with only one individual if Anybody, probably whoever the leadership is. Hearing okay. Johan say he trusts the Sabbat is wild, not Again, gonna lie. Keep it 
to a relatively small group that knows what's mm -hmm. happening in the plan moving forward. Okay. And certainly. <clears throat> there anything else that must be discussed? Oh no, I think yes. So. All these plans will not matter if Alexander Griffith brings to war. Then we'd be killing each other. It's good to keep in mind. He's not wrong. Well, Let's hope Zyvernik is one of the casualties then. I doubt Zyvernik would be. In fact, Zyvernik would probably thrive on us fighting each other. I'd like it to be There's known, at least I have do. no issue with the cam myself, but it's more or less just him. Alexander is now Prince. There are very few ways to remove him from such position. Very few, but still available. So that is not I my decision. Ask, I will advise that he cooperate. However, I have no control over what the prince ultimately decides to do. We lack a sufficient amount of primogen in order to remove him. I to be honest, even if we still had the numbers, I doubt we could remove him. But, well, I mean, uh, I can think of a couple reasons and, we don't have sufficient primogen. I and even when we did, but that is in the past. Hmm. Go on, Alicia. I'm sorry. I don't know much about Camarilla stuff. Can't the Primogen just tell him no if he says he wants to go to war? I mean, you're. I mean, it's a council. It's not no. so much about him wanting to go to war with the Anarchs or anybody else upon the island. It's more or less the actions he takes against other sects or individuals within them that may lead to fighting. And I certainly the don't Prince want to have any type of fighting. Over his domain. I mean, you could distract him with... I don't know, make him feel like he's being useful in the Zyvanek situation? Oh, dear lord, don't do that. I didn't say make him useful. I said make him feel like he's being useful. Alexander will very much take the, the reins in the aspect of feeling like he is useful regardless if he has anything to do with these meetings or not. So it does put us in a somewhat difficult situation if we're expected to keep information from our prince. If he requests it, there may be a situation where there's not much we can do. I mean, he didn't seem to care about it much before. I doubt he would now. I mean, he was invited to this meeting, and he's not here, so... I would state that if there is anything that you truly wish to keep from your prince, you would find a means to do so. If you feel that it would cause harm to the Ivory Tower as a whole. The prince is not the Camarilla. The Camarilla is its own, just as much as I am not the Anarch Movement. I am simply the person chosen to represent it. Clan Shamir always seeks to serve best the Ivory Tower. The Ivory Tower is not one man.
Excellent. That, is that all? <clears throat> Johan, yeah, I mean Primogen Rauch. Um, I feel like the Alexander stuff may have taken the conversation a little off track, but I do see the worry to a degree of him trying to take over the applauding, but I mean, I doubt he would. Oh, I do have a, a quick question. Yes. I do not know. Um Avon opens the door. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Hello. How many donors? Oh, that might be a question more there. for Dr. Jean or Alicia, however. You may end the meeting too. If, if it isn't my favorite. And thank you very much for uh, and thank you very much for attending, uh -huh. and uh, I will keep you in. Um, that must be wrong, Dan. I, I will keep you informed if some if the, if there is progress. Not, not every detail, not of obvious reasons, but as much uh, as we can give without um, endangering the whole um, plan. As long as we have some direction that we can take action in, I'm satisfied. Sounds good. Very well then. The Sword of Cain Very remains well. committed to ensuring the peaceful security of Tinchadel Island in cooperation and with that I'm with the sex therein. <laughs> I'll be yeah, back. Not turn. Yeah. Uh, oh no. Yeah, I disagree with others. Yes, sir. Hello. Maybe. Been a while. Yes. May I help the you? details of Zyvanex Prison. I will disclose this only to your site well? leader. Back then we'll send. Yes, I will. Almost. I feel like I'm back. Can you please give me the name of your Ooh. character? Yeah, uh, I really bad and... I'll do. At least his son Val. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to give some thoughts real quick. I don't think Alexander Griffith is going to give a flying fuck about the Zyvanek thing. Um, but that's not my character, so I can't really say. He might get interested. Who knows? Um, I feel like the worry about him is a little over in this situation. Um, it's possible though it's possible that he could uh, um, turn against people uh, it's possible he could be taken over by Zyvanek who fucking knows uh, but I don't th oh that was Johan's player Harley <laughs> whoopsies
So... I think this plan might work. I think it will really, really depend on if the sex can actually work together. I I understand the there's a there's quite a bit of political turmoil happening right now between the Camarilla and the Anarchs. Um definitely feel like the IA can just get along with everyone and get the job done. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, it, anything's possible. And anything can be not possible. It's a weird situation. Dealing with a Shimitsi Methuselah at this point? Yeah, that's that's going to be rough. But I feel like it can I feel like it can be done. I mean, the island's already dealt with a abomination. And we dealt with the beginnings of a zombie apocalypse, so I mean anything's possible. And I mean I I think we can get through it. It'll it'll really just depend on if the sex can get along long enough to uh get shit done. Either way, I think the IA's got things under control on their end for things, probably. It tends to happen though when you're when you are the neutral ground, pretty much. Um, Also, thank you, Calphonicon, for the follow. I know that you 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 followed earlier. I'm just now getting to your to your follow. So thank you for following. Uh, I hope you're here, and I hope you're enjoying the stream. Let's see. Did I play Alicia a little bit longer? It is getting close to dinner break time. So if I want to take that now, I could. How about this? I'm gonna I'm gonna check and see if people need Alicia in character, and then if not, I'll do a quick break where I take where I grab dinner and come back. I think that's a good plan. I hope you guys have been enjoying the stream so far. I really enjoy role-playing Vampire. Um, I'm definitely excited to see what happens next. Alrighty. Let's get back into it. I noticed that nobody from the warden's office seemed to be in attendance, at least not to my knowledge. Are you planning to collaborate with them, or simply to... Mm, well, of course, we do it so our own way. I have Jen in the mean. Vidika was invited, and she said she would come if she can. So I oh, no, yeah. oh, look, Versa. Yeah, you doing? Uh, hi. I met you earlier, didn't I? Hi. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did. Yeah, no, I fucking never actually knew your name. Oh, I'm Alicia. I'm guardian of the sacred spaces and one of the protectors of the Elysium. Oh. Uh, you hired by Cam? Uh, independent uh, alliance. Apparently. Independent Alliance, you struck it out on your own. Good for you. Mm hmm. Independent Alliance. Oh, there's the there's the advocate. Hey, Donna. This is what we're doing. Everybody's oh, hello again. 
Hey, it's Advocate and Adonis. As delicious as they could not, be. I was not. I was not. Your, nice I was not to meet you. Dropping your name. <laughs> Certainly. What? So what are you, huh? Would you mind introducing yourself? My name is Seven. Don't call me Sev, or I'll kill you. The um, I'm an anarch. Good company, then. I am the ambassador. Ambass the anarch ambassador, or indeed, that is correct. <laughs> for. Are you an ambassador for a different sect, or you are ambassador? We got ambassador. He's I am the anarch the ambassador. ambassador to the Camarilla ah. and the IA. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So you you, you do the talking, talk, talk to people. I do the talking. So if I needed to say, uh, wanted to formally insult it, a member of the Camarilla, do I do I go through you and like? Let you put the insult in, or do I just do that myself? That's <laughs> not exactly how it works, but we might. Who knows? Uh, you can you do me a favor. With anyone else in the camera or the I you understand that I try to inform you first. Keep a note of everyone at the meeting. If our plans get out, we know at least one of us did it. Understood. Checking things with probably the only way which this will not interfere is if we only meet at compact or if we only meet at Elysium. There was some discussion earlier about perhaps not meeting at Elysium. However, in that case, I would be forced to take action should some of these individuals show up outside of Elysium. Or is not the uh, the movement itself Please be aware now. of that if you decide to meet elsewhere outside of compact. Yeah. Just a member of it. <laughs> just a reason I made this meeting. I, I got in trouble for the... I don't advise me not to say anything. Now, I don't plan on going <laughs> easy on him, hmm? so don't worry me about that. Just shut up. My lawyer advised uh, me not to say anything. Uh, I I'm starting to think that your lawyer is awfully lazy. Only giving you one singular advice for all these reasons. Ivo, I'm gonna take off for a bit. Do you have Elysium covered? I know it's compact, but you never know. Okay, thank you. Have a good night. Okay. I am going to take a quick break to have some dinner. I will leave you guys on the break screen. Until then, it shouldn't be more than 10-15 minutes. And then when I get back, who will I play next? Byra it is. That's interesting. <laughs> oh, that'll be fun. I will see you guys when I am back.
Thank you.
hello, hello, hello. And we're back. Sorry, I think that might have been more than 15 minutes, but I'm back. We're going to play Thyra next. Well, I'm going to play Thyra next. You guys are going to get a kick out of big, drunk Viking lady that... Wishes it wasn't compact so that she could throw people. Because... Fuck the Camarilla. Give me one second while I set up Thyra. Oh, my thing didn't save for some reason. Alrighty. I think I got it set up. I think. That looks correct to me. Finally, I'm doing something at least kind of correct. Finally. <clears throat> and this is Thyra. Aramane. Elder. Uh, like I said before, oh, did not mean to take a picture. Like I said before, uh, wishes it was not compact so that she could do violence. Don't we all wish we could do violence sometimes? Alrighty. One. Two. Three, four, five. I think that sounds like Thyra. Here we go. Are you clearly inhuman, by the way, out of character? 
I have eerie presence, yeah. Uh, my It'll eerie presence makes... Uh, it works on both. Uh, it makes the area around me feel... Like, ten cool. degrees colder. Basically, it would turn a summer day into a fall breeze. Gotcha. What the fuck? You feel that? God damn, I was... I felt dumb as shit arriving here with a hoodie, with, with it's generally hot as fuck lately. But, but now, now I feel like this thing is finally fucking warranted. Where are you? I know you. I'm just talking to you. I am Thyra. Who the fuck are you? Thyra. A, a motherfucker talking, talking to a bitch that probably made this place cold. What's up with you? How's your day? Tiresome. Tiresome. Well, give... This model, this character model's accurate, right? You look this pale and have that eye. Well, I... Oh, goddamn, on, on that end, it... It's very nice to meet you, although... Although I don't know your affiliates yet, you're pro... Something tells me we're uh, a little bit kindred on that end. So what? So what? Uh, what team are you batting for, huh? My own. If you'll excuse me. Ah. Gotcha. <laughs> Dead. One of you say Tyra. I, Tyra? I, I, if you have five minutes uh, at some point this evening for me to speak with you in private. <clears throat> Anytime. Sure, Tavir. Whose parade did I shit on? Talking about interesting people. Oh. No, it's just more that you uh, were very appropriate to the conversation we're having, and here you are. Oh. We are well, now I want to hear it. We were just people. preparing. We were just preparing sushi for a picnic. <laughs> well, you invited. That was, uh, that was another conversation we were having. All right. We were talking about interesting things, that was all. Mm. Before you arrived. But before that, we were talking about um, how all the stacks are getting long and, and how we have no targets. Now, too. Which is five way representation when you think about it. Mm hmm. Thomas wants a picnic. I offered to make sushi. Uh, I don't eat, but I'm sure the bears will be happy. Bears do love fish, so. I could, uh, if you let me know the species in advance, I could tell you what her preference is. Somewhere around here, it's probably black. Oh, I don't know exactly what kind Bernard is, uh, but mine's not exactly of this nature. I wouldn't think that yours still ate fish. Oh, yeah, but it's, I was just saying, for, for species, it's kind of... Well, I haven't had the pleasure of meeting Bernard. Um, 
Is Bernard a bear friend of yours that drops by sometimes? Oh, I took Bernard in when I took Robin in. Ah, well, I see. Well, Robin's a bit of a wanderer, so Bernard could be any species. Be sure to ask him. Big bear. Very majestic. That's, uh, I'm pretty good at catching fish. <clears throat> I'm sure I'll be able to keep it fed. The tail. Mm -hmm. He does have a talent for it. I think... Sorry for just asking. What? What? No. Oh, no. Apologies. No. Uh, now I'm confused. Uh, anyways. I was just... Gonna... I, I forgot what I was gonna say now. Huh. Apologies. <laughs> um, please do go first if you remember. Okay. Uh, you, you go now though, because I don't fucking remember. Sorry. Um, where do you keep a bear around? Like, probably pretty difficult I, to keep, like, in towns. I live by the ridge. That makes more sense. Probably keeps um, noisy people out to have a bear there. The nosy people have been there for a while now. Still trying to fully get rid of them. I'm surprised Shamir don't have like a poke balls at this point. <laughs> Sandy, I, I choose you. She does understand the reference. See, I got that one. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Impressive. You meet a lot of weird people when you wander around. Mm -hmm. I, bet. I still don't know jack shit about Pokemon, but I know you throw a ball at them and say, I choose you, do something, and then usually they fight each other. It sounds a lot like... Cockfights, but for children? Yeah, I, it's my understanding you go around capturing wild animals and force them to battle for death in gladiatorial arenas. It's a little bit savage, but there's been worse. Fucked up. To be honest, I, I found Pokemon not very uh, child fitting in my path, so. <laughs> I never understood how people could let children um, watching that. Oh, you see, it's got nothing to do with the parents. It's all about, like, censorship and, censorship and shit. I don't know. Help me out. I'm... I don't know what I'm censorship talking about. Follows the money. If something makes enough money, the censorship will bend to accommodate. People crave violence and conflict and collection and pretty things and cute things and if you have something that will cater to all of that, it's gonna make money. And Power Rangers sold boys. Well, Power Rangers were ninjas, robots, and dinosaurs. <laughs> it's hard to say no to that combination. <laughs> I don't know. I I walked into a card shop and because I was curious, I thought it was like gambling, but underground gambling. And then I went in and my brain was turned to mush. You see 
that uh, Johan is suddenly stiffing his, also his whole posture is uh, stiff now. So, my prince. Transgression. Alexander. Nocturne. Members of the Camarilla. And hello to you too. So. Cat got your tongue. No. I make hanging out on the stoop cool again. It's compact. Your point. It's cold. I'm being nice. I didn't realize that was a requirement of the compact treaty, but then I've never seen it in its entire detail, and quite honestly, why bother? It's a cute sentiment, but it's empty, don't you think? Do you know if I'll get banished if I say fuck you? I think you can be as mean as you want if that's what power compels you to do. Exactly. Go with your heart. I've always been an advocate of that. You have one, don't you? That doesn't mean that Alexandra hasn't prepared herself, of course. But you know that. Mentally, emotionally, spiritually. <laughs> Go on. Get your words out. Oh, Surreal. you. So yearn to hear them. Oh. Such sweet poetry, I expected nothing less from you. The refinement of your age, no doubt. Oh, you don't want so me to give you poetry. Prose, then. A song? Perhaps a little dance. What's your complaint this time? Did a member of the Camarilla kill one of your pet dogs? Oh, no, I was just saying fuck you because you're an asshole. Uh, no, I don't have an actual problem right now. Uh, I'm waiting for you to make one. think that you'll find. If you look hard enough, you'll find problems wherever you want to see them. And that's really not a problem of mine at all. As for the rest of it, I do what must be done. Raises an eyebrow. The fuck is that supposed to mean? It means... That if I'm an asshole, it is by what I deem to be a necessity. Gotcha. I imagine you've never been an asshole of any kind in your entire life, right? Now oh no, I know, I'm also an asshole. Others would call innocent blood. Wonderful. Then we're in good company. We can be assholes together. How wonderful. Common ground. So many strive to find it, and so few do, and here we are with it before us. Well done. Bob on claps.
Sorry I'm late to the party. I had to attend to other matters. I see we already have something akin to a birthday cake. All pink and ready to go for celebration. Mm. She does bring delight wherever she goes. Albon does have the appearance focus and uh, an ethereal beauty about her. Yeah, but he's seen it before. <laughs> That's old news. <laughs> there have been a few more people on uh, here earlier. You sadly missed them. Is this a good time, Farah, before you head out? Or would you like what? to do uh, a talk later? <clears throat> I can talk no, now. I suppose they will not be returning anytime soon. Okay. The ones that matter. Well, we can go to saving or training or anywhere you like. I can't call the most consent. comfortable. That's fine. Mr. Kobig indeed said that uh, okay. you. I can go chat with Fire for just a little bit. It shouldn't be long at all. Okay. Yeah. Well, I will take you there. If you like. Big surprises for all. Oh. Uh, hope you don't mind me being so direct, but this is pertinent to Nocturne security. And some of what you do looks extremely familiar to blood magic. I don't know if it is or isn't. However, we are in need of practitioners to help in something being done on her behalf. You wouldn't have to learn anything. You would just have to be there if you actually have blood magic, and that is unclear to me. So, well, you don't have to tell me if you do, but if you do, um, your participation would be appreciated. And uh, I could say that you could do it anonymously, but I don't know to what degree you're actually able to conceal your identity. Let me know if you want me to go over any of that again or clarify. What does she need? She, now a ritual has been developed to sever her connection to her clan and protect her from their use of um, high-level thaumaturgy. It has come to her attention that they are preparing a spell to bring the schismatic symbol lying. And uh, so she has, with some assistance from my clan, had a ritual developed that will shield her. We will need th three other thaumaturges aside from the ritual caster. So far we've the caster and one. We're looking for two more. If you are able to assist, you'd be one, and we just need to find one more. Again, all you'd have to do is show up, to my knowledge, as has it been explained to me. You don't have to learn anything. You don't have to provide vita, and you just have to lend your support. I can be there. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Do you want me to keep your identity secret? Just for full disclosure, the ritual cast will be Joshua. He doesn't like to spread around that he is thaumaturgy, but we have many practitioners in my clan. I would prefer if people in the Camarilla didn't know. That's all I care Make about. It clear that Camarilla... Make it clear that Camarilla cannot participate. So far, we have two alliance. One member of the movement involved 
three alliance actually one of them is involved it's mostly my clan and then i guess it would be you so then we need to find a fourth but we'll find one thank you there are innumerable reasons persons could have grievances with alexander griffith has he done anything against you or your clan as of yet Well, no. Principle then, good. If this was not a compact night... Mm. I agree. But it is. So... We'll have to see how careful he is outside of combat. <clears throat> I might be doing something. If he had woken up. Okay. And there's a possibility there might be a few Garu involved. Obviously not while others are around. Well, just be wary. He, uh, he's, he's wily. He has a nose for traps. But whatever you want to do. Trying to see if I can even yeah. convince the Garu to help me first. Right. <clears throat> I plan on pretty much offering Alexander to them. Plus, whoever's defending him when we attack him. A sort of paying them back. Okay. It could work. I mean, It'll to be, be uh, fair, we did damage to their numbers, so... We did. Well, hopefully uh, we can find... Either way, Alexander is a problem that's going to be fine with resolution. That would be one way of doing it. I, of course, won't tell anyone, aside from Nocturne. If she doesn't already know, Cairo point at her head. Nocturne does not read thoughts like that, unless she's dealing with somebody who is an active threat, such as an agent of the Black End. Alexander. She certainly wouldn't do it to a friend. Man. I see reason to believe otherwise. I certainly don't. No, it's just a thing that I would be like... I wouldn't take offense to it myself, so I... Guess it's just a thing of thrust. Oh, well, I... I'm telepathically connected with her all the time, so I certainly wouldn't take offense to it, but I wouldn't want anybody reading my mind. The Tremere were reading my mind, I would. <laughs> Have to kill him. I feel transgressed.
I have different ways of reacting when I feel transgressed upon. Killing is an option, but not the first. I've killed <clears throat> too many people. I'll have to kill again, of course. Over time, I'm just one soul. And I've consigned so many to the duot as it is. Well, I uh, I do a delicate dance with my humanity to do my best to keep it intact. Mm. I drowned a man last year. And I stood by while others were killed. Well, I also killed a Fomori in direct combat during our assault, as you're aware. So mm -hmm. I'm no stranger to it. But... For you, it's more you got to do what you got to do. Whereas for me, it's more the thrill of the battle. Yes. Not something I revel in. Though I understand what it is to have that bloodlust. Quite intimate. A very good friend of mine. Who you sort of met. <laughs> Feels very much the same. I think I like that person already. <laughs> well, she's happy to help you. As you were helping us. And my gratitude is undiminished. For whatever that's worth. Well, we still got work to do. And oh, is it? I might have pulled us in a new team member. Robin? Yup. Don't talk to him. I just finished cleaning up the bay. Everyone's distracted by the Zyvanek issue now. That is Alexander. Nocturne did some research into a pharmaceutical company, but she's letting it sit for now, letting the heat die down while we deal with problems currently on our plate. Yeah. But there's, well, there's always work to do. Hallahan's was working for something bigger. I don't know I know they kept on saying the word Pentex, but it seems like the Magadon Incorporated was a larger fish in that pond. I don't know. It's something we can never deal with entirely. Well, we can look into it when we can. We can always try. Or perhaps we'll just be killed in jihad against the Ivory Tower in the near future. And if so, <laughs> they can try. <laughs> yes, they can try. They will likely not succeed. I, I, we've both been through this before. But then again, so is Alexander. So we'll find out soon. Won't have much to worry about if he's dead. It's the fate of his soul, which I imagine will just be consigned immediately to hell or whatever version of it he believes in. So it probably doesn't matter. The duat does not take kindly to people such as Alexander. Yeah. <sighs> well, I think that's uh, that's enough backroom plotting for now. I, I will 
let Nocturne and Joshua know that we have another assistant and mm -hmm. um, let them know that it's contingent upon a... I don't think we're going to have anybody from the camera will help anyway. Uh, Shamir are best not involved in this. We'll just have to be careful finding out who our fourth is going to be. That's all. Mm-hmm. Oh, if you ever need me, if you ever need help, yes, go ahead. So I was talking to Dr. Jean, Philip, and Robin. We were we were at my place, and we were uh, watching some movie about men in tights. Uh, they were talking about the FBI and the Saunders Ridge stuff. Because they saw that I had a statue of, um, kind of Eli. So, uh, it got me thinking. So we had the FBI go in there, into the ridge. And they pulled out once I distracted them for them to get out the second when time you say we had you, you didn't mean we didn't cause them to go in did we a kindred may or may not have caused the fbi to go into saunders ridge i did not know that until after i had helped them Interesting. Um, and apparently they found out who originally got the FBI after them. Uh, but that's for another conversation um the second time they were attacked i didn't do anything to get them to pull out the suits were winning and they pulled away they weren't even forced to retreat they just left Do you have any idea why? No, and I don't think I've seen anything of them since. They just disappeared. As if something else had caught their That's attention. Certainly, uh, certainly better than drawing the attention back upon yourself, but it doesn't bode well for us. Assuming they didn't leave the island, of course. I think something else Circles caught their attention, but I don't what what's so big that they would fucking just drop the battle that they're obviously winning um, well i don't think it's us unless they found out about zyvan they could be preparing to fight that as well. Mm -mm. That's not going to bone well for them. Uh, well, maybe, or perhaps we could... Not directly, but we're toward the same agenda. It could bode well for us, even if it doesn't bode well for them. True. Either way, the important part is they're not paying attention to you anymore, it sounds like. You don't want them messing with the guru either, of course. No, it doesn't sound like they're really messing with anyone at the moment. But the... Uh, I'm still trying to figure out what happened with the Wolfman attacks. They say they've been framed. 
I think I believe them. I just, and I don't. I just I got nothing. And then I asked Robin to look into it, and he had nothing. He said there was a kindred involved in the original attack. Perhaps they had something to do with staging the Wolfman attacks. I mean, it's possible, but that person's also kind of with the FBI. Uh, could be an accomplice. For themselves, but they don't seem like the type to. They don't seem like the type to engage in mundane in politics. But I don't know much about them, to be honest with you. So I couldn't say. Hmm. My experience with shifters in general has been that they're generally very straightforward. Um, not much to it in the way of deceit, but my knowledge of them is limited. I mean, I've never had a Garu lie to me. That implies they're being set up by somebody. Not who that is. So there's no way to know right now. Anything would just be conjecture. If you want to throw around accusations. Regardless, of course. Well... You know where my focus is. Mm hmm Once a certain element has been removed from our society, I think we'll be well positioned to operate more cohesively. Yeah. You know it'd be some shit? He called a blood hunt on me tomorrow. <laughs> that would indeed. I suppose we'll have to see how things develop at the next gathering. Thank you for your time, Sire. Yeah, of course. Well, now, where the fuck did. Oh. In fact, that the new Hakeem in the Torador have been known to uh, get along politically based upon our clan's agreements on the past. Makes sense. I mean, you made the ambassador a to uh, Toriador, right? For sure. No reaction. So he's not a Toriador <laughs> either. I figured it out, I swear. <laughs> You're really desperate to find out what it is. I'm glad he's having well, fun. I, I know something you don't know. Do you know? Yes, I don't know. Of course I know. I imagine you know quite a bit that Thomas doesn't know. I mean... <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, I I realized also, Tal here, that apparently I was mistaken as to the purpose of uh, Alexander's use of presence on me so long ago. Uh, apparently, it was because I was not doing a job in maintaining the other Anarchs from bullying him, even though it was only the second time I've met him. And apparently, we had had long discussions about that matter beforehand, and I had not reacted or done my duty. Well, I'm so sorry to hear that his emotions have been damaged and it's been causing him some aggravated trauma. Just I don't give a fuck. I, I Honestly, it seems... It seems as though possibly I, I need to stop and rethink my own actions uh, and become, in essence, uh, a mind reader more so than I already am. <laughs> and actually uh, knowing that he has issues before he has actually voiced them to me. Perhaps we should all just no, become it's... silent one and go into the mountains and think about what we've done. <laughs> <laughs> 
You could come over to my place. Oh, it hits you pretty hard. Oh. We'll you. all think about what we've done, and we'll come back and do the exact same fucking thing. Well, here's my thing. Uh, <laughs> thing is, I'm uh, Talvir is well aware of the fact that I don't do well of thinking about what I've done, so uh, I will leave it up to him to help me with that in that regard. <laughs> Well, you are lucky to have him. Your existence in quiet contemplation, having realized that you are part of the problem and not part of the solution, can be a little difficult to process long term. But going forward, I think we can adapt, and I think we all still have faith in you. Don't worry, we're not going to give up. <laughs> Maybe not too much in the way of optimism, but certainly faith. <laughs> well, I'll take it. Excellent. We're all rooting for you, Nocturne. I'm not sure an aesthetic life, aesthetic, not aesthetic, is necessarily what's called for here at Amistad. She's going to need a little bit of guidance to get back on that proper path of adherence and respect toward proper ivory tower authorities. Yes. Mostly consists of little smileys and arrows. I'm sure you will understand. <laughs> yes. Yes, I will. Thank you for making sure that I stay on the right track and, uh, Actually, in the I'll advocate sure to of the island, include a cookie break in the middle. Oh, <laughs> a treat for me doing my best. I appreciate it. <laughs> yes, that sounds so wonderful. What sort of flavor of cookies are you going to make, Adonis? Or are you just going to purchase them? I'm not judging. Store bought cookies are fun. Mm. I'm thinking some pistachios, mint, and chocolate. Oh, I like the stash. Mm -hmm. I think you might be tempting him too. <laughs> <laughs> you also I, wish um, to go on this path. path. Well, I'm going to have to, you see, in order for her to enjoy the pistachio chocolate cookies, I'm going to have to eat that. So, yeah. I hope you don't mm. I mean, that is for Nocturne to decide, I suppose. Oh, I don't mind at all. <laughs> you two have been sure, awfully no, quiet. We'll use every... I was just reassuring them we'll use every, every Pavlonian tool we can think of to make sure that from this point forward, Nocturne is humble and adherent to the will of your noble establishment and its many needs. Can you repeat that? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> she shall ever endeavor to please mm -hmm. the rulers of the Camarilla from this night forward, having seen the air in her ways. I think I could see a smile. <laughs> yeah, you uh, see that he is um, here and there looking at the uh, door of the Elysium, like, oh, doesn't he kiss? don't come out, don't come out. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, your hand smiles are not illegal in the Camarilla for now. <clears throat> Alexander has to finish preparing his initial decree. <laughs> He's talking to Albon. He's talking to Albon. Let's see how far that gets him. Oh, that sounds interesting. 
maybe he's better in getting answers from Alba than I am. So, I'm at the... Maybe they're best friends and we just don't know that. They're just pretending to be so, enemies on the outside. What if Alexander so, is in the Sabbath? <laughs> I mean, well, that yeah, would make a certain degree of sense. As you know, yeah. As you know, yeah. Yes. Are you yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't say anything. <laughs> as, as my lawyer, Wait a minute. Do you, you know something we don't know, Johan? He's confirmed it. <laughs> I'm starting to think that well, the really is just a circle of players. Well, I know every dark secret. <laughs> yeah, it's required. That would be you very tremerish, right? In, in law to join the Camarilla. And the worst thing chance. is, you don't even learn anything. The only thing they say is, don't spill it out. It's annoying. Hmm. Well, if you're to thrive in a society governed by laws, it does help to be good at laws. So, shit, so there's laws. Told us how your First, I've heard of it. Laws work. Oh. Does that break the law? Hmm, I'm sorry. Does break the law? Um, Thomas, if he just explained to us how his whole system works, is he breaking the law, keeping quiet? Oh, that's true. Mm. No, I don't think so. I'm allowed to teach law. Mm. I'm a law professor. I'm lying, mm. but, um... <laughs> <laughs> There's laws for that. Okay. Laws are like money or nightmare creatures. They're only real if you believe in them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't even use cash. I just go to the gold for money place and trade in my money. It's weird having to trade my money in for modern money. <laughs> it's the same shit it was so before. I will take my dollars and get my gold, please. Thank you. I mean, it's the same shit it was before. It's just the paper's worth less. Well, before it was precious metal, and now they've convinced everybody that paper has value. So it's sort of a collective deception. Yes, because technically, if you did take that paper to some place, such as your bank or Fort Knox in this case, and you asked to exchange the paper that's supposed to be representative of your precious commodities, as in precious metals, they'd probably laugh at you for asking for it. Oh, there is yeah, a also certain exchange rate. Loses its value over time. You can get less for it. I, that's, that's dumb. Just, just fucking... There was a trade system. Like the fuck? Well, yeah, we're both old enough to know. In like, the old days, you could just I... take the coins that you happened to stumble upon on the corpse of people <clears throat> that you were have forced to kill, and you could take them. Right, right, the forced to. Right, so... It was a simpler system, but then it was a little bit more brutal, too. I mean, technically, I mean, it worked. Kill people and take back money, but uh, I wouldn't advise it. You could, but if you're going to another country, and you know, again, you have to deal with the exchange rate and everything else. And then again, they well, might not have true. cash on them. Most people's money is kept electronically these days. All right. You first That's why you learn the... a skill that not many people have, and you use that to barter with. So you learn how to make shoes. Actually and like, good shoes. and like, I get you why they change shoes. things, but it's still <laughs> dumb. I suppose there are just more people, and not everyone are very talented at something, so they had to simplify the system. I. I could have gotten out of that life much faster had I turned to my compatriots and just said, wait, why aren't we just shoemakers? That's just people being lazy. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been a, a good thing to think about at the time, but sometimes hindsight's twenty twenty. We so are wasting our own <laughs> life not knowing how to make our own shoes. 
Well, then I, I propose that the anarch movement get on that. So we all learn how to be shoemakers and then take over the shoe industry with on the Tentagel Island. So the cam is forced to uh, talk to us and actually work with us so they can get shoes. Unless right. they become cobblers, yes. too. <laughs> and I thought I... Uh... I, and I, I thought I did already some efforts to work with you. <laughs> maybe, maybe we can teach you how to make a shoelace. Oh, so Keep in mind that we... The shoes. But you make we, the shoes. We will guard the, you know, the secret to cobbling with our lives. Oh, you want them to get in on it. That's fine. Well, actually, no, no, no. Actually, no, I agree with you. We're going to keep it as a secret to guard it with our lives. You have to come up with a skill, though, that we're willing to trade shoes for. Something oh, that um, we'd like. Funny thing. Do you guys know what a shoester is? <laughs> a shoe <star? laughs> oh, no. I'm assuming <laughs> that it's a it's, store... Uh, yeah. That we control no, just... that has shoes inside. <laughs> correct. You are correct no. in that. That is what the shoe, shoe store is. We control all the shoe stores. Shoes. And that is where we make our shoes and sell them. So what are you going to give us, the shoe people, who control all the shoes on the island in exchange for shoes that we'd be willing to take? There's such an obvious answer here. Um, a trivia boom. What do you say? I. <laughs> he's, he's trying to uh, pull you back into that whole imaginary currency thing. He's trying to get me back into the fairy. Oh my gosh! No. <laughs> make make believe money. A boon only has worth if I if I believe in it. Least, it's a barter system. You have to create uh... something. At least I'm sure that Thomas would um, pay his debts. That's true. But, uh, Thank you. But we're trying to do bartering, so we, we've set up shoes. Shoes are ours. You guys think of something different than shoes. What do you want to barter for? Maybe they could make two boxes. So we can put no, no, get it off shoes. We're all shoe shoe commodities. We have people for so boxes, we, we got people for sure laces, we got people for shoes. We, uh, oh, okay, okay. have the leather that they need for their shoes. Now we got that. Oh, we got all the good leather, idea. too. Uh, um, <laughs> do something like hats. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is something hat? everyone needs? Underpants. Fancy hat, we do fancy underpants. hat. Underpants. Underpants. Oh, now okay, you are. I get that. I do like. That I like the direction this is headed. Mm hmm. Ooh, I, like you're what gonna, type? You're getting a little pants? fancy, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, fancy underpants, it. right? Um, I do the regular ones, and Johan does the fancy ones and lingerie. Ooh, see, I like this. Oh. That variety. <laughs> variety of underpants. See, I can get in this. Oh, that's... <laughs> so, will you guys do garters and... Uh... You mean, Lace, uh, silk, I mean, nylon. Sense. I should make mm -hmm. the over yeah? <laughs> yes, lingerie, exactly. I could use some more lingerie. <laughs> See? Sweet trade shoes for lingerie. That's a We've effect. apparently hit the unhinged <laughs> part of the <laughs> session. Shoes and lingerie. Shoes and lingerie. That sounds excellent. <laughs> I like it. Oh I think this God. is a good trade. I think I think we've come up with a great barter system. The CAM, the Anarchs, and the AIA can all get in on this. I think it's no, 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 no clothes. Like the, the the clothing is the lingerie. Mm -hmm. I mean that's that's the, the best thing. And then I will but trade in rocks and weapons. There you are. Well, well that the Antarctic mm -hmm. are contributing as well. There we okay, go. now since I'm not making shoes and I'm not making rocks and weapons, I'm making lingerie. This is what I'm going to do to contribute. I'm going to get a printing press. I'm going to print out little pieces of paper. They're going to have numbers on them. They're going to call, be called quibjits. And I, I will give you a certain <laughs> number of pieces of paper that have a, a, an appropriate number according to whatever I'm acquiring from you. And at first, you're going to be confused. But once you realize that everybody else is getting quibjits from me, you will realize they have value. And you will all give me your things. 
Wait, that's starting to Wait sound a minute, like. Wait a minute, I'm sorry. No, Talbir, don't. <laughs> You're falling into the trap. <laughs> What's next, bulls? Come on. Well, I'm I'm just trying to design a universal system that everybody gets along and everybody can barter as they please with with a clear understanding of value, and that's my contribution. That's what the alliance <laughs> brings to the table. And, <laughs> and then I guess... <laughs> please don't make it digital. Um, That's where it gets... Oh, of course not. Old school printing press all the it. way. That's on you. Yeah, yeah printing I've, press. I've, like I've lost money on that shit. I still don't understand why I paid... Two thousand dollars for a picture of a dog. Well, I'm thinking some other gonna make you, small little animal figurines, that. and that's gonna have the highest value. Oh, it's the end. Well, it is a picture of a dog. So in the end, we still have to make sure that everyone understands that they need the stuff of the other party. Oh, we're definitely gonna need the quibbles. <laughs> I did say that correctly. Did you, did you pay two thousand dollars for a digital picture of a dog? Yeah, but it was on a coin, and it was cute. But it's oh, a picture of a coin. See. <laughs> oh, you mean you have two thousand dollars? I'm not sure. Dog coin. Hmm. Yeah. I don't. Nah, I'm probably. sure you're talking about an NFT, but yeah. Yeah. It was an N no, something. Dollars in... get... Oh, NFT. Well, that it probably has a crude in value. You can probably just resell it. You just need some help. Uh, wait for the next for the next pump period when everyone else is dumping. You dump as well. That's how it works. Like spoken like a true venture. <laughs> Can I just keep my dog pictures? I've already wasted money on them. Well, if you feel like you've wasted money, you can resell them. And then what we can do is look at pictures of dogs for you online and give them to you for free. Um, or you could pay me a thousand quibjits. Oh, the quibjits. This system already. fucking sucks. <laughs> I think a thousand for a quip shit is, is actually accurate. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a good trade, in my opinion. Because you could pay $2,000 uh, or a thousand quip jits. Shit, the quip jits are a, bigger are, are a better deal. Fuck, I'm falling for it now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Albana visibly shrinks a little to those who are looking at her. Are you all right, Alban? I'm lagging badly over so here. Oh, wait. No, I'm better. Never mind. Uh. <laughs> maybe right oh, here. no. The Sabat lady seems to be. I don't fucking know. Well, I don't understand. Chimishi. Didn't you. Maybe she wait, she didn't you say Alba? that, uh. Yeah. What... Wasn't there a guy that disappeared on the other place right before things went reverse? Reverse? It went reverse, Which right? Well, I don't think they went reverse. They no, it's some guy. Some possible. guy disappeared for t for attacking somebody. Oh well, yes, but he came back. Ooh, maybe if we're all lucky, we can go inside and see someone disappear. Say in some cases, 
come. There are four very loud banes on the door. Oh, you want him to write what? it down? Well, it's in the history of Intentional uh, Island Records, which will cost you at least uh, 3,000 quibjet in order to get a hold of with his printing press. <clears throat> it's a discount, but, you know, we're, we're, we're offering an introductory. Mm -hmm. That's a good still. What's the punishment on Dean on Dean Don Nothing. ditching the prince? Because I just did it. You ding dong oh, ditched the prince. How, how do you do that? I walked up to the door because I heard him talking at the door and then I knocked on it and ran. Uh, <laughs> well, nobody uh, seems to have opened the door, so. Just have been a blood hunt. <laughs> Shit. Finally. I know you wanted to get it. Maybe, maybe you should um, uh, ask uh, Thomas to be your lawyer, then he cannot say anything about what you have done. <laughs> because of law lawyer secrets and such things. <laughs> Only 3,000 ding dong or a record of Tintado Island, and I'll be your lawyer. No, you can't come bringing your I, own what, currency in here. What? There's only one that's true. <laughs> no, we only deal in quibjits here. <laughs> what the fuck yeah, is going ding on? Ding dongs are not in subject. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. We don't, we don't have an ex exchange rate on ding dongs. Thank you very much. <laughs> only quibjits. But you brought up cookies, so why we cannot have our own currency? You have your cookies, we have our ding dongs. <laughs> No, 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 you don't oh, have ding dongs. Mean, you I, have this... lingerie. That's what you're providing. <laughs> That's true. Can you give me 10 garter belts? I probably can get. I will uh... take 10 garter belts. <laughs> exactly. So what, I'm always in need of garter belts. <laughs> if you think I'm not in need of garter belts, you are wrong. I need more garter belts. <laughs> Here. God, <laughs> Nocturne. <laughs> Maybe if I wore multiple garter belts at once, it might help. But uh, you know, I tend to oh, only uh, boy. They get the damaged easily. They don't have a lot of longevity. No, they really don't. <laughs> Unfortunately, I wear them. Better. They get broken. I have to get new ones. It's a whole pattern. <laughs> but that's only because you haven't been buying them from Camarilla. Get... It's about to change. Turn that's around. true. Exactly. <laughs> we make them um, oh. survive 10% longer. That means instead of one day, it's Ooh. one day and one uh, two hours. Every it's little bit helps. Two hours longer. That does help. Mm -hmm. That's the deal. It, it adds up after 100 years. Can you make Certainly a garter does. belt that can handle, I don't know, uh, hmm, very well, strong hands, I suppose. Makes... My hands I... are so strong, I accidentally break my garter belts all the time. Understandable. Uh, I think no one <laughs> happens to me every time. You don't last that long. <laughs> Well, we don't want them to make a chastity belt for you, unless that's your oh, thing. Oh, that's fair. No, no, no. I do want to be <laughs> the ability to have access and reusability without it constantly falling apart. He's calculating how many um, quibjits yeah. he wants to charge you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was calculating the cost, and I can't tell you. Um... <laughs> The steel <laughs> wire for that is quite expensive. You know, bridges are usually made from that. So I don't know if that works as material. Now, at this point, you're probably thinking to yourselves, oh, but I I need to pick quibjits for these things, and I don't have any quibjits. Well, don't worry, because once you start doing things for me, I will be giving you these quibjits. And then you'll Same be able to perfect. give it to each other for the things you do. Um, that's great. And in a weird way, that, that those garter belts will help. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
But we do ask you not bring your own currency into it, because at that point it will destroy the universal peace that our five groups have forged. Well, I suppose the very fiber of the universe here, might sure fall apart as well. We're not sure. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, we we have to test that out. Yeah. As your garter belt's ca causing you issue, Adonis. They're fine. They're fine. Oh, good. I just wanted to make sure. That's because Adonis got the first um, Camarilla garter belt. Oh, oh shit, man. You should have told me that you were getting one of those. Mm. Well, yeah, Adonis is, so is essentially, uh, he's basically dressed <laughs> in the mask and version of lingerie right now. So, I mean, check out the straps. <laughs> I don't need <even> mm. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck, guys? I don't know, it's like a walking advertisement. That's true. That's true. That is well, true. Yeah, we should see the camera really can make something better. Mm -hmm. yeah. What the fuck, that, guys? Uh, that just makes me perfect and for my role as the ambassador. Are probably made by the annex. Well, I had some good shoes, man. You should see my boots that we made. They got little hearts on the end that light up. Pretty nice, I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sounds really enticing. I'll need me some I'm of exactly. that paper that um, Tavia's sending off. Well, as well, she said, you had to provide start... him a favor. We well, yeah, oh, just no. need to start doing various services, it's for, it's services it's for the Alliance. Crazy. Well, I mean, I, I have to go get the printing press and print it out. This is all in the planning stages, but don't worry. I can have it set up pretty quick. And then we just need you to do various services on behalf of the Independent Alliance. You will get all the cribjits you want, and proportionate to your service, of course. And then you can, you know, get things for them. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> What favors would you uh, like me to participate in for you in order to earn some quibjits so I could pay for these? Well, my tires could use some rotating. Okay, I'll definitely get on with the tire rotation <laughs> thing. I actually do know how to do that. I mean, I guess tires are a bit I like know. shoes for cars, right? <laughs> that is true. We can do And you have to rotate them. Oh, he wants to re rotate your tires as well. <laughs> well, uh, I'm certainly open for discussing those possibilities, Adonis. <laughs> Wonderful. Hey. I... No, I'm not going to say it because I'm really hoping I'm wrong. Uh... <laughs> Maybe you are more right than all of us. How could you? Keep oh, if, oh! If that ever happened, I think this world would be doomed. Hmm. I mean, isn't it already? No, you made me curious. About what? No, I'm good. Look at these two. Put the conversation together, look at the Donis, then look back at these two, put the pieces together. I do like puzzles. And then laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I like having my tires rotated, so that's fun. <laughs> and I do enjoy rotating my tires. Upset with me so much. I'm just um, in for the also ride. Also, uh, my lawyer advised me not to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> you, my oh, do you pay with your lawyer in quibjits or in like tires or what? I think the tire oh, portion. I have matter. to keep saying <clears> that <throat> the lawyer said not to tell uh, about what rotating tires uh, means, other than you know what it actually means, which is rotating tires. You go from the front to the back, the back to the front. Rotating mm -hmm. tires. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Indeed. It's a process. 
Mm. Now, if you needed to do something with the covers of your seat, that might be a camera real thing. Oh, well, yeah, man, I'm right. sure that they can work in my interior. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. <laughs> <laughs> I would say though that uh, as as long as it can take to rotate tires and as hard as it can be, uh, I do enjoy the process. It's always important to love what you do. Hmm? That's dedication. Oh, yeah. Well, you know what? It's uh, it's enjoyable for myself and uh, getting to see such wonderful work come together. Mm -hmm. And he expresses his gratitude of it. So, you know, makes me want to rotate his tires more. Uh, I see. Mm -hmm. I just do it for the creatures. <laughs> We're not judging. We're not judging Adonis. Thank you. Everyone has a has a role to play in this world. It's a profession like any other. Mm-hmm. Excuse me, I think I will go now. We got the wrong two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you're okay? Yes, yeah. Oh, Sooner or later, fuck. I have to face them and better on compact than another day. <sighs> well, Thyra, I know you don't have any tires to rotate. I suppose we'll just have to hoist your sails for you. You take the little of it, and I have a metaphorical. No matter. The door is open, you by the way. Peace. I saw. Okay. I'm not opposed to peace. Mm. Bears are not good fish collectors for people. No. That's not going to work out for you. Yeah, they're good no, fish collectors for bears. But, you know, who's good <laughs> at collecting fish for people? I mean, maybe if you stash the bag inside their belly and then harvest Fisherman. that somehow. I will get you a hundred fish for a hundred quibits. I mm, need free That's a great deal. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, she only one needs a hundred quibjits. So you for three thousand quibjits, you could get well three thousand fish. That's a great deal. That's a good deal for oh. quibjits. Mm -hmm. Also easy enough. Thank you, Peter. Now, it. yeah. Now, of course, you'll have to get those quibjits from somewhere, which is me. So the next question would be like, <laughs> Talbier, how can I get three thousand quibjits, and we can discuss that. You already told me. I already called Rosalind. Maria, that's the interior, all right? No, well, the interior should take something. If that happens to be what you want to do to get your quibits, that's certainly a service we can discuss. Nothing to worry for the wear of your tires. You might want to work with the movement to get more tires. That will be 10,000 well, quibits per tire. Oh, that, is this a new tire, or or is 10,000 quibits just to rotate one of my tires? Is it 4,000 no, to rotate all tires. the tires? Oh, that's, not, that's not bad. I mean, if we're dealing with high-quality tires. High quality the tires can tires. last you seven years. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. And we'll throw in the rotations for free. Oh my. Mm -hmm. No, the Anarchs definitely mm -hmm. have something going for them. 
and then we're gonna buy all the fish from Tyra just to have all the fish in the market and then you're gonna have to buy the fish from us <laughs> and uh yeah well but now wait a second doesn't this all get trumped by Nocturne How so? Isn't she goddess, empress, elder, ventru? Ah, yeah, right. You can claim it all for yourself as a tribute. Oh, well, Nocturne's not yeah, going to abuse right. her power like that. Wait, you don't. And ultimately, she's really? subject to the authority of the Ivory Tower, of course. So that is true. I am supposed to bow and commit myself to the the prince of this island and. Should have recognized that sooner. Oh. Huh. <laughs> I think I hated it more the first time you said it. <laughs> System is complicated. Do you think we can just go back to dollars? <laughs> no, Quibjits is the future. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are these dollars you speak of? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the the a tool of oppression. Let's adventure control the dollars, and we're just not comfortable with that. Oh, that's true. Let's well, not trying to agree to be subservient to the Camarilla. <laughs> oh, well, oh, that's true. Well, <laughs> but then the again, you're trying to learn to be power. humble. That's which fair. means moving I away am. from your corrupt roots. <sighs> I'm such a corrupt person, I do apologize. I am trying my best to learn, but it's very hard to get out of that old corruption when you've been so used to it for so long. Well, yeah. nobody expects much from Elder Ventru, and this time I'm actually being serious. <clears throat> Shots fired. I mean, I don't see any vent through here to stop us. Uh, excuse I you? That's that I exist in the next vlog, I don't. Uh. I, listen, listen, listen. You, you're part of us, though, so you're not like the other vent through. You're, you're the cool vent through. Yeah, right. I was pretty much on for two seconds. So, my <laughs> word matters, yes. <laughs> True. You're dealing with the oh, it's Adonis and right Elder too. I, I'm lost. Uh, no, track. he was apparently primogen of uh, the Ventru for about 2.5 seconds. Yeah. Oh, well, Am I'm correct in that. How the I fuck did that happen? Like two seconds before they become elders. Um, that's all. Elijah oh, appointed, that's appointed me at one point. <laughs> we switch roles, man. <laughs> Well, he didn't get to be an ambassador. I just <laughs> held all the roles for two seconds. Well, and then I will say this: back. that um, seeing as you have an issue with Venture when they become elders, uh, you have a, a, every uh, available option that you need in order to be comfortable around me. So, if there's something I do well, that I have a good word. upsets you, <laughs> I mean, I'll just I'll give you anti-aging cream, and I'll be good. Then I don't become mm. an elder. If you if you want for fifty thousand quib jets, I can put in a good word with the body of the king and see about getting you adopted into their clan. Oh shit, man! I'm gonna have to jump on this. <laughs> this is a real problem. Now, it, what if there is another clan that I'm jets. more interested in? Is that a possibility too? <laughs> Which one do you want? As long as it involves you jumping on things, I'm all about that thing too. Cool. I'm wanting to join the jump on a clan. That's all they do is so jump on So we need a bouncy things. castle for a uh, life fair? Yes, exactly. My clan uh, demands it, being the one and only member of said clan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's specifically only for you. Well, you can <laughs> always sell membership for cryptids and gather. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to be like, oh, you know. Mm -hmm. Clan jump on it really could use some more members. And then they'll say 200,000 quibjits. And they'll say, Well, where do I get quibjits? And I'll be like, Well, Talvir has them. You'll just have to do some things for him. 1000% <laughs> correct. You know, you know, people are going to think you're selling drugs. Jump on it. <laughs>
I give drugs away for free. So, they'll know better than me. Shit. Cost savers. <laughs> drugs are the fun time. Speaking of which, I mean, if there's anything that you want, just let Hello. me know. Uh, whatever will fuck me up the quickest Hello. and longest. No, oh. didn't know that was an interest in you, sire. We can make that happen. Listen, I like not remembering what I did the night before. I like to remember what I did the night before. Nah, it's part oh, of the fun of finding things. out. It's not remembering what you did. There's not remembering what you did, and there's getting fucked up the quickest and strongest. Those are two different things, and I don't know it's the same thing. I can get you fucked up very quickly, and you'll remember what you're going to do. Or we can just give you something that you're going to make you lose your memory, which is a little bit different. Well, if I wanted that, I'd just I will be right back. get I some quibjits and find a Ventru. Got it. <laughs> right, fair enough. <laughs> no, I want to get fucked up and not remember in, in, when I wake up, so that way I have to figure out what I did. Okay, reverse so the whole day needs night. A, she needs a cocktail. Mm-hmm, a cocktail, that's exactly we what can, it is. Well, you know my that. favorite drug. Is it cuddles with Mr. Crinkles? Well, that is a very good drug. I do enjoy that drug. I thought I'd guess well. Mm-hmm. Well, my favorite drug is your sparkling personality, Doctor. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> I'm going to go fuck with him again, I think. Hey, What would you have of me? Oh, Harper. Out of character, is this what door open? Flesh would you take? It is. I think so. Okay. Oh, yes. I feel graced with the presence of yet another. Who no doubt wishes to bandy words and make polite conversation over tea. I'm sure they have nothing but compliments, sweet nothings to whisper in my ear, pleasantries, perhaps a discussion about the weather. Maybe, just maybe they wish to say, ah, yes, I understand you. I realize that what you do and why you do it is for a greater purpose that you see. And while I don't share that vision, I acknowledge that it is a vision. Well, I don't even know what you've done as Prince yet. I just came in to tell Johan bye and ask him if uh, I could buy some of those Camarilla garter belts. Is this what <laughs> I'm getting the fuck out of here.
<laughs> oh, I can't. Oh, I bet that that's a great conversation they're having right now. Oh my god, what a way to fucking end the. Oh. What the fuck? It's always goofy shit when Thyra's around. It's always goofy shit. I love it. Okay. I think it's time. We are nearing the fifth hour. So, I think it's time for some Eleanor Holmes. I am not going to have her voice down tonight. No fucking way. I... That's the problem with playing four characters in one game. I have the voices start to blend together after a while. Even my own voice starts to blend in. And then it just starts turning to shit. Oh. It's fun though. Okay, let's get this set up real quick. Oh shit! Oh shit, no way! Damn, I was about to swap characters, I but... Five. I was about to swap characters, but I mean, if you're going back in as Robin, shit. Oh, what I miss? <laughs> I've been taunting Alexander all fucking night. Fair. So, what, what are you thinking? Uh, we we go we go mingle. Okay, we can go back. <laughs> All right, here's what I'll do then. All right, if Johan is still there, you can you you can they can ask you this the question. I mean, I I've talked to Johan all night, and there's there's nothing's come up from from anything. Uh, literally, the conversation so far has been uh, <laughs> fucking Camarilla garter belts and new monetary system called Quipjits. Oh boy, more a new, new more monetary systems, just what we need. <laughs> right. Oh. Well, I know what part of the VOD's going to get watched the most now. Oh boy. It's always some kind of goofy shit when Thyra's around. It's always some kind of goofy shit. Goofy ah moments. Right? Uh, that's what I forgot to change. Ah, uh, day. <laughs> Is it daytime for you? There you go. All right, let me turn off the sun. <laughs> Turning off the sun. 
Uh, okay, back in character. <clears throat> I can only find myself wandering out here on screen, compact. Trust me, all I want to do is fucking punch Alexander in the face. Don't we all? Where the fuck did... Where the fuck did everyone go? I'm sorry, Tissy. Yeah. Don't freak out. Punch I'm behind you. I'm going to move around you. Good evening, our remains. What's so up? Good evening, Adonis. What's up, traitor? How does freedom taste? Jailbird. Do you have nothing I, better I to do than to start the uh, conflict? Freedom is nice. I mean, you not that I had a problem. Not that I had a problem. problem with being an anarch. I was referring to Robin. Robin was in the tower after all. Oh shit, yeah, no. Fuck I... that. Robin, I should inform you that the prince is here. He can't do anything during compact, but he's in this. Neither here nor in this building. He is in this building. Okay. So what? Just for your information. In case you want to act on it, it's up to you. Or if it's just what thought you might want to know. That the fuck does that mean? I don't know, man. You want to say your piece? Shout at him? Get pissed off at him? I don't know. But the prince be looking for a reason to do something to me, even if it wasn't compact? I mean, you did leave the tower recently. So, yes? yes. What are you not the saying? The prince is not happy about that. Where's the prince? Um, he's in one of the rooms talking to Johan, uh, Primogen Rao. Oh. Honest, you might want to call Nocturne. Where she's around, I don't know where she is exactly. Good. <sighs> but yeah, what aren't you telling us? Like what like what's the underlying threat there? In case you want to avoid him, I just wanted to inform you. Uh. Robin shrugs. Fire mm, shrugs. That's fair. Well, the prince doesn't want to talk to me or Nocturne currently. I assume he doesn't want to talk to you two as well. Sandy. Nah, no, that's to me fine. <sighs> Well, he's a very social uh, type, I would say. Oh, for sure. So, uh... 
what's up. I guess the answer to your question, John, is less stressful. That's good. It's a lot nicer of a view where we're at. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Clean air, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what was it? A cabin in Saunders Ridge, right? Used to be. Uh, the FBI, I think, uh, kind of kicked in the doors for that one. I mean, it happens. When you do fun things. Lawrence, am I right? Hmm. Uh, Thomas, how are you dealing with the new leadership? Well, quite well. I mean, there mm. hasn't been much going on. There. And there goes... Oh, there he is. Indeed. Here I am. Prince Griffith? Pounds hey, Prince Griffith, all. is it a... Uh... Is it a breach of Elysium to spit on the floor at somebody? I suggest you keep your bodily fluids to yourself and try very hard not to be a harlot. Enjoy your evening, all of you. Probably not the best to do during the Blood Plague. Hmm. Uh, uh oh, and then. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I was kind of expecting his speech. Yeah, that's very uncharacteristic. Hmm. What is? I was kind of expecting a speech. I mean, he technically uh, well, caught the last word in, I guess. Me and already talked to him earlier, after all. That's true. That was a very long conversation. That's true. I guess uh, <laughs> princes don't really do a nog year old speeches. Adventure would. Yeah, you're right, though. Sorry, you first, Robin. Uh, the Venture would make a speech where the Toreador would craft some grand statue or some piece of art. Makes sense. I could imagine next week the prince will invite us all to his statue garden. I don't know if he could do something like that. But we were expecting a speech today, actually. But um, he was passionately, passionately late, as they say. Hmm. Mm. And then decided to not stick around. I mean, to be fair, I was kind of a dick, but uh, he had it coming. <laughs> um, my lawyer said I shouldn't know. Wait a second, I thought you were a lawyer. <laughs> Wait. 
for libraries. Hmm. Mm hmm. But you left the movement? Climber? I'm back. Yes, oh, I did. Welcome back, Sandy. May I ask when? Oh, were we talking about Thyra being a traitor? Cool. Sandy. Ilika, pleasure to see you. Hello. Hey. I will not tell you to shut up, but you're not saying smart things. Um, I want to talk to you later, Velika, if you have time. Well, you can talk to her, over, that's fine. So what's up with Zyvanek? We'll see. I hope not too much soon. I'm sure it's probably a bunch of stuff they don't want released. He's bad. They, there you go. Yeah, that sounds they, about they. right. Oh, and he's a Shemitsi. Real bad news. Yeah, but... Not good having huh. him all run around, that's for sure. Not all of them. But they're yeah, not on this island. Uh, this one, Big Z specifically. Having fun down there, Velika? Yes, so I'm dancing to the music in my head. That sounds like a great time, not gonna lie. Is it nice having music in your head, or does it get annoying? I like it. It makes me happy. Not everything makes me happy. Many things make me happy. It's good. Mm -hmm. I do not intend to discuss the issue as often as I grow for Not right now. I could change my mind. But it doesn't seem like a good idea. Right now. I mean, that's fair. Shit, Robin, me and the Camarilla person agreed on something. Fuck. Next time I disagree so you can be happy. <laughs> agree to disagree. Sounds good to me. Ira's <laughs> favorite. But we have to do some. Why are you a traitor? At some point, Fyra. I left the Anarch movement because I went on a different path than they than they're on right now. Is that treachery? 
I don't fucking see it as so. But, uh, I don't feel like arguing with well, Sandy right now, so, uh... That's a good reason. Just because somebody says something mean about you doesn't mean you have to get into an argument about it. Sometimes it's better not to. It's called being the better person. You, uh, so how much trouble am I in, Adonis? Likely not much. I mean, have you done anything against the movement since you have left? Oh, so many things. Hmm. I see. Then I'll have to discuss your execution with Nocturne. Perfect. Uh, does Tuesday sound good? We can probably get it on Tuesday, yeah. Great. What kind of execution? Like be beheading? Event. Or is it like battle to the death? Or... I think we're just gonna like shove you onto a pike and then put that... Like that's uh, that pike is on top of a viking ship. And it will be like an execution and a viking funeral at the same time. Fuck yeah, sounds like a win-win to me. Go for crucifixion. Nah, crucifixion's for wimps. I'm, uh... I'm, I'm pretty sure where they were doing those kinds of funerals, they were wiping out... ...the Catholics and the Christians and... ...Constants. Mm. Surely after that, the sculptures were converted largely to Catholicism. Oh, I'm very surprised from Seraph. No, it wasn't really Catholicism, was it? It was mostly the Protestant faith, wasn't it? I don't remember. I'll have to look into my, my records. But I know that most Vikings were original, uh, eventually converted to Christianity. And it didn't take very long. No offense. Just historical facts. Eh, it's fine. It's fine. My people were a dying breed anyways. I is. It's part of the culture. Yeah. I guess betraying your beliefs comes natural to you then. Hmm. Nah, I didn't betray my beliefs. Randomly decides to go out of their way. Not so fun when somebody randomly decides to just go around and be a bitch to you, is it? Traitor. I don't think she actually seems that bothered. That's not my business. Sandy, I think the only one you're work the only person you're working up is yourself. Um, would you have time to try with this uh, conversation? Sure. What do you say, traitor? Well, uh, let's look for a room then. If looks good. Well, at least Nocturne was respectful about it. Eh. Can't win them all. I was mildly surprised by... What was it? Five, six words from the prince and uh, <laughs> I'm out the door. Did you leave yourself, or did he kick you out? Well, 
I quit. And then he suggested I leave. Hmm. So. I guess you could say a little bit Not both. much of for a farewell party, huh? Well, at least you're not a bootlicker anymore, so that's something. Like I said, you're gonna have to find a new favorite, Cammy. Yeah, when she be already did. Didn't you, did you see the? Didn't you see the video on the internet? Oh, that's right. At least I didn't bitch out when he challenged me to a fight, coward. Challenged me to a... Oh, right. You're an idiot, and you can't read subtext. What do you think throwing down the glove means, dumbass? I mean, it's also in context of a verbal argument. I'm pretty sure he was challenging you to a duel. He wouldn't duel me. He'd throw on his presence and fucking. As soon as that broke, Just he'd cower you're out. Too much of a pussy to stand up against presence. That's on you. Just means your spirit's weak. It's probably why you're a traitor. Old ashy bitch who doesn't know what she even stands for anymore. Good riddance. Do you need to rewatch the video that was released a few nights ago about you? Doesn't matter. Doesn't. I think it was Spirits a good the last the thing the movement. They would have a concept of when it comes to us. I think uh, traitors are a worse look, personally. But that's just me. I no, didn't realize she would get offended for, for the Marisha. Camarilla now. See, now I get why you voted for Marisha, now, because she was a here. traitor, too. I wonder if you can smell oh. each other. I wonder if next time I see you, I can kick your ass. Clearly smell the arrogance from here. The only arrogance is you forsaking everything, forsaking all of us. Go fuck yourself. I mean, I would, but I don't get anything from it, so what the fuck does it matter? All the shit you would talk. All the shit about loyalty, about all of it. Fucking elders. What does it matter? You got yours. You got your freedom. So what, everybody else that you're leaving? Fuck them, right? They don't matter. Anyway, I'll be going on a walk. <clears throat> you guys are on. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, people. So maybe I might just go through, just go forward with that plan next time. Uh, 
have some of the, the local, uh, you know, wildlife start bothering them instead. Sounds good to me. Don't fuck with any other Someone anarchs, though. Them animalism. Oh, no, 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 no. This is, this is mostly stemming from the fact that uh, they've been going around bothering every single possible animal they can ever since they've been... Someone taught them animalism. Yeah, uh, one night uh, I found her in the woods. She was trying to, uh, she's trying to catch a fucking hawk. She was going to try and catch uh, a wild hawk to try to train it. So there's this thing called imprinting, and they clearly don't know about it. Even, even blood bonds don't help this. It, trying to train a 10-year-old a grizzly does not compare to training a cub. Uh. He's dumb. And I'll continue to find out the hard way. Uh, this is the brew hallway. I believe we are the only ones left. I guess. Hmm. Feel stuffy. You know, the nerve she has. I was gonna break her ass out of jail. And now instead like said, I'm gonna have to break way. her bones. Almost sounds like you're gonna make a new statue. Or a new bust. Yep. Huh. As for the rest of the anarchs, no, no, I would, I would do nothing. I would do nothing to them. Just as I do nothing to the Camarilla, as long as they leave me alone. I'm going to go through with the plan that we talked about back at the garden. <sighs> right. Well, I don't, I don't think he counts. So I'll assist where I can. Well, at least we'll know one thing for sure. We'll definitely have allies with most of the Anarchs, it seems. With a few IA members, and... Uh, hopefully the Garou. The well, we'd have to find more Artarchus first. Apparently... Well, I guess Dr. Gene is one, isn't he? I've always felt like he's been an honorary one. And that's with the perspective of when I was primogen. Hmm. I think I'm going to turn in for the night. Or the morning. That's fair. Say. 
Potato, potato. I'll meet you back at the garden when you're oh, ready to come back. Yeah. Probably head there now anyway. Actually wanted to see uh what the rest of Compact was up to, considering uh that meeting took a little longer than I felt it needed. Oh, how was that? Uh, uh, out of character, I forgot the, uh, I still have to ask Johan, what the hell do you need me to ask you? Uh, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Anyway, Not the... uh, uh, it seems there's a plan. Mm. If not three. Damn. Three? Well, hopefully fucking one of them works. They can't all be idiots. Yeah, well, it's one between each sect. Oh, fuck, we're doomed. Uh, can I start packing bags? No. <laughs> <laughs> I just. Uh, uh, maybe, but not yet. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get Bernard on and off this island? Not that hard. I have a boat. That helps. You know it's super easy oh, to yes. get off the island, right? Like, the yeah, barrier just makes you slide. afraid. That's it. Oh. It just gives you like a weird spooky feeling to turn back all your thigh. Nothing happens. Oop, out of character, I have a phone call. You're good. It is quite possible that I might end stream after I'm done playing Thyra. Might be done for the night in general after that, honestly. We'll find out. Uh, but this is definitely heading towards the end of my run as Thyra tonight for sure. Afterwards, we'll see if I'm up for playing another character. I'm kind of... I don't know, it's the, all the fucking, oh my goodness, tonight has been fun, but my goodness, I am, oh, my roleplay battery is running out. It's been... A wild night, a wild compact, and honestly, yes, hi, I return. Where were we? Back to the garden. Yep. Yep. Goes off in random non canical direction. Yep. And I think on that note, I think it might be done for the night. Yeah, I don't blame you. That's a lot of characters. Like, oh god. I don't even show. Yeah, I die. Curtis is too busy. Plus, <laughs> uh, it's uh, compact, uh, so I can get away with fine. leaving a little early. Quick hands, quick work. The man is doing five downtime actions in the span of what people normally do three. Oh my god. <laughs> quick hands, quick work is he's, really good, though. Busy. Oh, it's 
so great. Oh yeah, have you seen this part of the map yet? Uh, there's a whole a ass fortress on this side. There's a what? There's a whole ass fortress on this side. Hang on. At least I'm pretty sure it's on this side. Okay, yeah, no, this one doesn't teleport you. This one just is a dead end. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, it's the main thing you did. Oh, no, it's still going. And now it's a dead end. <laughs> you want to jump? Do you want to jump together on three? I. Oh. Shit! 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 Oh, I'm coming for you now! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, I think he was trying to climb up. I think he was trying to do the uh. So on this map, you could do, there's a method where you could just, hang on, gotta, hang on, gotta do it over here. You could just climb up stuff by jumping and holding the forward button. Like you got like wall climbing pretty much. Nice. Wait, Fire. does that one fly? Yes. Can I have it? Yeah. If you can catch me. <laughs> oh my god. It also comes with this. Oh please tell wait, how do you how do you fly? Uh open your menu, go to expressions. Uh-uh. Then you just jump. Hell yeah. Oh, where, wait, where is she? So goofy. Burb noises. Burb noises. I I gotta save this Abby now. What do you have there? A nice. No. I just realized I opened my menu up. I streamer mode was literally on like. 20 minutes ago, and somehow it was no longer on. Oh, uh, uh, for Discord? No, for VR chat. Um... So yeah, every time I open my menu, it just automatically shows people's names. I gotta not do that. But since I'm logging off, here's what I will do. Oh, hell yeah. Hit us with it. Hit us with those sick moves. You gotta have sick moves. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, 
the hell? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's, uh, there's quite a few goofy, uh... Oh my god. Oh, that's so- that's so fucking hilarious. <laughs> not the- not the fucking twerking. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it back yeah. with no hands. Yeah, damn. <laughs> Rob has got those moves. <laughs> oh, good. oh my god. All right, I gotta do my outro and get the fuck out of here. Oh wait. Three stream sniping. Ah. <laughs> Run away. I believe I have escaped him. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Don. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching the stream today. We it went from really tense to really silly so quick. I love this game so much and I plan on streaming more Vampire the Masquerade. So stick around for that. But until then, my ghouls, gals and super spooky pals. I will scare you later. Good night.